knows no bound in every soul it's found disability may test but the empowerment knows no rest namaste and good morning everyone my name is prigna gautam and i welcome you all to the second and final day of purple talk 1.1 the theme for today's event is product technology innovations and tools in the field of intellectual disability the objective of organizing the purple talk is to provide a safe and inclusive platform to people and organizations working across all the verticals of disability sector to interact and share their new and innovative ideas and also find synergies for collaborations i would also like to share with you all that the whole program has been organized under the visionary leadership of our secretary sir sri rajesh agarwal ji we sincerely thank you sir for conceptualizing and being the driving force behind this wonderful initiative now i request joint secretary ceo national trust shri k r vaidhi sharan sir to please welcome our secretary sir shri rajesh agarwal ji i would like to call on stage shri rajiv sharma ji joint secretary d e p w d to deliver the welcome address for today's event sir please सभी को नमस्कार जय हिंद वैसे तो मैं भी इस तरह से निवेदन करके आया हूँ कि स्वागत तो मैंने कल कर ही दिया था क्योंकि ये एक के बाद एक बैक टू बैक ये श्रृंखला चल रही है पर्पल बेस्ट की कल की समर्पित थी लोकोमो डिसेबिलिटी के लिए आज की समर्पित है इंटेलेक्चुअल डिसेबिलिटी के लिए तो लेकिन आ गया हूँ तो सोच रहा हूँ कि कल मैंने क्या सीखा उसका कुछ प्रदर्शन करूँ कल मैंने सीखा मैत्री से जो अपने बारे में बता रही थी तो मैं भी अपने बारे में बताता हूँ मैं एक मजले का अपने आप को नौजवान ही समझता हूँ मैं थोड़ा मेरा गोरा रंग है थोड़ा सा मैंने वेट गेन किया है और उसके लिए मैं <laughs> मैत्री के बारे में इसलिए कुछ बता रही थी मैंने कुछ सीखता हूँ मैं भी इस बारे में <laughs> चलिए मैंने थोड़ा माहौल को हल्का फुल्का करने के लिए ये बातें कही लेकिन मैं ये कहूंगा कि इंटेक्चुअल डिसेप्ट का जिक्र आता है तो हमारे यहाँ जितने और जितने भी नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट हैं उसमें से सिकंदराबाद में स्थित जो निपिड है वो पूरी तरह से और एक हद तक जो मल्टीपल डिसेबिलिटी समर्पित है निपिड चेन्नई ये दोनों इंस्टीट्यूट जो है ये इंटेलेक्चुअल डिसेबिलिटी को कैटर करते हैं उसके अलावा अगर हम आईडी को स्पेसिफिक एक इक्कीस में से एक डिसेबिलिटी ना गिनते हुए एक ग्रुप ऑफ डिसेबिलिटीज की बात करें जिसमें मेंटल इलनेस हो या मेंटल हेल्थ या न्यूरो जो डिसेबिलिटीज होती हैं उनकी बात करें तो उसके अतिरिक्त भी हमारे विभाग में एन आई है एक संस्था जो कि इस प्रकार की न्यूरो डिसेबिलिटीज को कैटर करती है अगर हम ब्रॉड फैमिली की बात करें मैं आ, स्वागत आ, तो वैसे कल से ही करता आ रहा हूँ स्वागत से ज्यादा मैं आभार व्यक्त करता आ रहा हूँ माननीय सचिव महोदय का जो इस प्रकार के ब्राइट आइडियाज को ना केवल कंसीव करते हैं बल्कि उसको बहुत शॉर्ट जेस्टेशन पीरियड देके हम सभी के सहयोग से ये इंश्योर करते हैं कि वो आइडियाज कंसीव हो जेस्टेशन पीरियड से गुजरे और गुजरे और प्रॉपरली डिलीवर भी हों इसके लिए क्योंकि आइडियाज सर के हैं लेकिन लाभार्थी हम सभी हैं लाभार्थी हम सभी हैं कि किस प्रकार से जो है आउट ऑफ द बॉक्स थिंकिंग का इस्तेमाल किया जाता है ये हम सीखने को मिल रहा है हमें और मैं यहाँ पे जितने भी स्टार्टअप्स हैं जो हमारे साथ फिजिकली जुड़े हुए हैं या वर्चुअली कनेक्टेड हैं उन सबको उन सबको भी स्वागत करता हूँ और साथ में स्वागत करता हूँ अपने विभाग के समस्त अधिकारियों का चाहे हमारे वो डिपार्टमेंट के हों या डिपार्टमेंट के ही जो परिवार के ऑटोन बस बॉडी से उनसे हों मैं आशा ये कर रहा हूँ आज के कार्यक्रम में कि टेक्नोलॉजी का जो इस्तेमाल है वो हम आमतौर पर हमारा दिमाग जाता है कि जो हियरिंग एड्स हैं या लोकोमोटर के लिए जो ऑस्टिव डिवाइस वगैरह हैं या जो ब्रेल लिपि का इस्तेमाल करने के लिए जो सॉफ्टवेयर आ रहे हैं वहीं तक सीमित हैं लेकिन इंटेलेक्चुअल डिसेबिलिटी के लिए टेक्नोलॉजी का इस्तेमाल कैसे किया जा सकता है मुझे आशा है कि हमको आज की पूरी दिन भर की कार्यशाला में सीखने को मिलेगा उदाहरण के लिए तरह तरह के नए टूल्स नए टेस्ट डेवलप हो रहे हैं जो कि इंटेलेक्चुअल डिसेबिलिटी की इंटेंसिटी और डिग्री को 
हम अपने में सहायक सिद्ध होते हैं जिसका नवीनतम उदाहरण है निपिट द्वारा डेवलप किया हुआ आईक्यू एंड समवन लुक इनटू इट समवन फ्रॉम द आईटी टीम में भी हां मेरे ख्याल से ये इशारा है कि मैं ऐसे जल्दी से मुझे जाना चाहिए <laughs> तो मैं यही आशा कर रहा हूं कि हमारे आ, हमारे जो कॉर्पोरेट सेक्टर में भी जो हमारे साथी हैं किस प्रकार से टेक्नोलॉजी का इस्तेमाल कर रहे हैं आईडी क्षेत्र में रिहैबिलिटेशन के लिए ना केवल रिहैबिलिटेशन बल्कि डायग्नोसिस के लिए तो मैं ही आशा कर रहा हूं कि मैं कार्यशाला में और मैं ये भी आशा कर रहा हूं कि मैं जितना मैं लाभार्थी कल साबित हुआ था उससे बड़ा लाभ मुझे आज मिलने वाला है क्योंकि हर सेशन के अंत में और बीच में सर के जो इंटरवेंशन रहते हैं वो बहुत ही गागर में सागर टाइप के रहते हैं तो उसी आशा से मैं आज भी एक छात्र बन के यहाँ पे बैठा हूँ और बैठा रहूंगा और मुझे आशा है कि आप सब भी आप सबके अंदर भी सीखने की वही ललक आ, कल की तरह आज भी भली माती बनी रहेगी धन्यवाद नमस्कार थैंक यू सर फॉर सेटिंग द परफेक्ट टोन एंड वॉर्मली वेलकमिंग आर ऑडियंस टू द इवेंट नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू कॉल ऑन स्टेज आर सेक्रेटरी सर श्री राजेश अग्रवाल जी टू शेयर द ओपनिंग रिमार्क फॉर टूडेज इवेंट एंड फर्दर इन लाइटन अस अबाउट टूडेज थीम विच इज बेस्ड ऑन इंटेलेक्चुअल डिसेबिलिटी एंड द ओवरऑल ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द पर्पल टॉक सर प्लीज गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन सो टूडे सेकेंड डे ऑफ पर्पल टॉक्स so third and fourth day i am planning around 15 16 17th of Ma- uh, april and then after 15 days gap and then after 15 days this gap so at least eight uh, such purple talks yesterday we had on locomotor so today we are focusing on id related issues and we broadly divide uh, disabilities 21 disabilities into four groups broadly in the country our udid data also shows that 40% are in locomotor group 20% are in the visual group 20% are in the speech hearing group and 20% are in the other group so today we are focusing on the other group and also broadly it is said that in india one third disabilities are at child birth at at birth basically one third are at during the your adulthood due to infections or accidents or deterioration of disease and one third are old age related diseases so that, that is broad distribution census 2011 said about 2.2% which translates to about 3 crores by today's population of about 1.4 uh, 140 crores population um, who and many other people say the disabilities in the world are 5 to 15% So the truth is somewhere in between, and also it depends on how you define disability. Whether in India we do a very medical checkup kind of definition, in Western world it is more functional impairment uh, checklist. Um, they go by that. Plus in India there is a misconception that disability means forty percent minimum. That's only for uh, government job reservations and higher education. so we are trying to break that myth kyunki us wajah se bhi disability under reported hai figures kafi due to this myth ki 40% ke upar hi fayda hai disability certificate banwane ka and all that stuff so in the other group autism down syndrome classic low iq ka lo intellectual disability ka lo and um, then we also have grouped neurodiversity issues sld dyslexia dyscalculia etc and uh, then even parkinson's disease which is classic cold age disease but broadly if we look at all others they are basically by birth and in this group we usually have a gene issue for example in down syndrome and uh, sickle cell so all the blood disorder diseases hemophilia thalassemia and uh, sickle cell also come in the other group fourth group or there is a basically issue with the neurons in the brain so broadly that is a categorization here and most of it is invisible except down syndrome probably at birth also the nurse or the doctor can recognize 
otherwise these are disabilities which parents or people around you may not realize unless the child is 2 year old 3 year old 4 years old so that is why in this group early diagnostics early interventions there is a lot of focus on that and today also we'll see a focus on this issue then this is a group of children where probably they are going to need family support throughout their lives jo locomotor wale hain visual wale hain sha wale hain bacche unme itna dependence nahi hota isme lifelong dependence hai और इसीलिए इस ग्रुप के जब आप पेरेंट्स से बात करते हो तो पेरेंट्स के मन में चिंता यही रहती है कि हमारे बाद बच्चे का क्या होगा जब हम नहीं रहेंगे तो बच्चे को कौन संभालेगा दिस इज नॉट ए वरी विद अदर ग्रुप पेरेंट ग्रुप दैट मच तो इसीलिए दिस इज ए ग्रुप वेयर पेरेंट सपोर्ट ग्रुप्स एंड आफ्टर अस दीज इशूज आर एक्सट्रीमली वैलिड और आज हम देखेंगे टॉक्स में वो थीम भी आएगा फिर एक बात है इसमें कि असेसमेंट काफी मुश्किल है क्योंकि इनविजिबल है प्लस इन मैनी स्टेट्स इवन बिग स्टेट्स आई वॉन्ट नेम द स्टेट्स आपको बड़े बड़े जिलों में भी कहा जाता है कि हमारे यहां साइकोलॉजी से साइकेट्रिस्ट नहीं है आप डिसेबिलिटी सर्टिफिकेट के लिए स्टेट कैपिटल में जाओ प्लस पांच साल से छोटे बच्चों का कई बार आईडी का सर्टिफिकेशन नहीं बनता सो वी हैव बीन वेरी कॉन्शियस ऑफ दिस तो अगर आप हमारे एसओपीज देखते हो अभी हमने लास्ट मंथ ही एसओपीज फॉर असेसमेंट ऑफ ऑल ट्वेंटी वन डिसबिलिटीज नए जारी किए हैं तो देर इज ए वेरी मेजर चेंज इन दिस ग्रुप विच इज नॉट रियली पर्कुलेटेड क्योंकि हमने शायद उसका पब्लिसिटी नहीं किया इतना आई एम टोल्ड बाई राजीव की पच्चीस तारीख से हम डॉक्टर्स का ट्रेनिंग चालू कर रहे हैं अक्रॉस द कंट्री जो भी असेसमेंट वाले चार पांच हजार डॉक्टर्स हैं एम्स और डीजीएचएस के साथ मिलकर दिल्ली से शुरुआत कर रहे हैं टू टेल अबाउट की एसओपीज में क्या किया जा रहा है इफ आई गिव सम एग्जांपल्स पहला तो है कि साइकोलॉजी साइकेट्रिस्ट बहुत जगह पे नहीं है जिलों में हमने एसओपीज में ये कर दिया है विच एज बेनिफिटेड ऑल अदर ग्रुप्स ऑल्सो नाउ कि जो डिसेबिलिटी सर्टिफिकेट का पैनल है द चीफ ऑफ दैट पैनल क्लासिकली द सीएमओ और सिविल सर्जन ऑफ द डिस्ट्रिक्ट वो रहे या अगर नीचे के लेवल पे तो सरकारी डॉक्टर है अगर आप पीएचसी लेवल या सब डिविजन लेवल कम्युनिटी हॉस्पिटल में इफ दैट इज ऑथोराइज टू इशू डिसेबिलिटी सर्टिफिकेट पर बाकी डॉक्टर्स प्राइवेट भी हो सकते हैं दिस विल बी गेम चेंजर फॉर इशू ऑफ डिसेबिलिटी सर्टिफिकेट स्पेशली इन दिस ग्रुप क्योंकि जिले लेवल पे ऑर्थोपेडिक्स होते हैं आईज वाले भी होते हैं और हियरिंग वाले भी जनरली स्पेशलिस्ट होते हैं साइकोलॉजी साइकेट्रिस्ट देश में बहुत कम है तो ये जो मेजर चेंज है कि प्राइवेट डॉक्टर कैन बी पार्ट ऑफ द पैनल ओनली द हेड ऑफ द पैनल कैन बी हैज टू बी मैंडेटरीली सरकारी डॉक्टर सो दैट्स ए बिग चेंज इन एस ओपी देन पांच साल से नीचे कैसे इशू करना है देर इज मच बेटर क्लैरिटी ऑन दैट कि पांच साल से पहले कैसे इशू करना है अठारह साल से नीचे कैसे इशू करना है तो सो देर इज ए क्लैरिटी इन द एस ओपी ऑन दिस फिर हमने आई एम वेरी हैप्पी दैट नेपीड इन लास्ट फोर ईयर्स बहुत मेहनत करके और बहुत अच्छे तरीके से ऑल इंडिया सर्वे करके दे हैव डेवलप्ड एन इंडियन टेस्ट ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस अभी हम वी आर नो लॉन्गर डिपेंडेंट ऑन वेस्टर्न वेस्टर्न टेस्ट एटसेट्रा जो बहुत कॉस्टली और हम पायरेट करके फ्रेंकली देश में यूज हो रहा था ज्यादा तो अब ये बिल्कुल ओपन सोर्स है और हमने एक्चुअली इंटरनेशनल एक कॉन्फ्रेंस भी किया था दो तीन महीने पहले जिसमें आसपास के सात कंट्रीज के और भी साइकोलॉजिस्ट वगैरह आए थे एंड वी हैव ऑफर टू ऑल अदर कंट्रीज कि आप इंडियन आई क्यू टेस्ट को आप फ्री में अडॉप्ट करिए और इनफैक्ट आप हम आपकी मदद करने को तैयार हैं you want to tweak that a little bit and call it put on intelligence test or bangladesh intelligence test we'll be very happy to do that free of cost so that's our contribution so so indian iq test is now a part of the battery of tests in the new sops fir aapka sld group mein humne 2016 mein ye add kiye the but unfortunately jo 
बैटरी ऑफ टेस्ट था वो 16 साल के बच्चों तक के लिए वैलिड था और मुझे बहुत रिप्रेजेंटेशंस मिलती रही कि हम तो 25 साल के हैं 20 साल के हैं हमें नौकरी चाहिए हम एस वाले हैं हमें बाकी लाभ चाहिए पर हमें सर्टिफिकेट ही नहीं मिलता क्योंकि हम तो सोलह से ऊपर हो गए और उसका है ही नहीं तो अभी नई एस में सोलह साल से ऊपर वालों के लिए भी वी हैव सेट की जो बैटरी ऑफ टेस्ट है नीबेट वाली वो यूज हो सकती है एंड वी हैव आल्सो सेंशन रिसर्च प्रोजेक्ट फॉर नीबेट कि अगले एक डेढ़ साल में जस्ट लाइक इंडियन आई क्यू टेस्ट दे डेवलप टेस्ट फॉर एस एल डी फॉर चिल्ड्रन अबाव सिक्सटीन ईयर्स ऑल्सो और जब तक वो नहीं है तब तक वी हैव ओपन डे रोड टू इशू डिसबिलिटी सर्टिफिकेट फॉर एस एल डीज अबाव सिक्सटीन ईयर्स फिजिकल सेल वालों का डिमांड था एंड दैट इज अ डिजीज प्रोवेलेंट इन अवर ट्राइबल एरियाज इलाज है ही नहीं दुनिया भर में अगर इलाज है जीन थेरेपी का बहुत कम सक्सेस रेट है और एक डेढ़ करोड़ रुपए का इलाज है पर हम अभी तक क्या कर रहे थे कि सिकल सेल में क्योंकि इट्स ए क्योरेबल डिजीज कि हम तीन साल का टेम्परेरी सर्टिफिकेट देंगे और हमें पता है कि लाख में से एक बंदे ने भी वो इलाज नहीं करवाना हम एक केस वन इन वन लैख केस के कारण बाकी बाकी सबको घुमाते फिराते थे तो अभी नई गाइडलाइंस में आ गया है कि आपको परमानेंट सिकल सेल का सर्टिफिकेट मिलेगा और अगर आपने जीन थेरेपी करा लिया अगर ठीक हो गए तो वी ट्रस्ट यू आप आके अपना सर्टिफिकेट कैंसिल करवा लोगे इट्स कॉमन सेंस बट सरकार में कई बार कॉमन सेंस की बातें लेके आना बड़ा मुश्किल काम होता है तो आई एम वेरी हैप्पी की हेल्थ मिनिस्ट्री और हमने मिलकर वी हैव कॉज दिस मेजर चेंज इन दिकल सेल असेसमेंट सो आई बिलीव आफ्टर दीज गाइडलाइन एंड वंस दीज पर्पोलिटी नेक्स्ट टू थ्री मंथ प्रोसेस सिस्टम जो इस पूरे सेक्टर में आज वाले ग्रुप में जो ये कंप्लेन्ट था और ग्रीवेंसिस थी ये बहुत कम हो जाएंगी दूसरा हमारे यहाँ सैडिक सेंटर्स को भी हमने जोड़ने को बोला है और इस फील्ड में हम जैसे मैंने कहा पेरेंट्स का बहुत बड़ा रोल है तो वहां हम काफी चेंजेस लेके आए हैं हमने जैसे स्किल कोर्सेज में कहा है खासकर आईडी के बच्चों के लिए अगर आईडी के बच्चे को हम स्किल कोर्स में एनरोल करा रहे हैं तो अगर उसकी मम्मी भी करना चाहे या फादर भी करना चाहे नाइन्टी फाइव परसेंट केसेज में मम्मी होगी कि वो भी साथ में बैठ के ट्रेनिंग ले सकती है फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट और वो स्किल करने के बाद माँ और बच्चा घर में बैठ के अपना आराम से काम करें और और ऐसे बहुत उदाहरण है एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप में आप हर दिव्य कला मेले में जाइए आपको दस एक स्टॉल ऐसे मिलेंगे कि आईडी वाला बच्चा है साथ में मदर है और वो मिलके अपना काम कर रहे हैं चाहे एम्ब्रॉयडरी वर्क हो गारमेंट्स का काम हो चाहे और कोई मसाले बनाने का काम हो कुछ भी हो तो वो मिल करते हैं इवन कंप्यूटर का काम हो घर बैठ के आपने कुछ करना है तो so we have allowed that and primarily for id but uska bhi side effect good positive side effect baki disabilities bhi hai ki unko bhi allowed hai agar koi bachcha hearing impaired hai sath mein mother ko lana hai dono skill prep course mein ikatthe bhi training le sakte hai fir humne rci ko bola hai abhi and uh, nipid rci agar national trust isme milke kaam karenge and i hope ki april end pe hi pehla batch parents ka shuru ho jaye क्योंकि आप किसी भी सैडिक सेंटर में जाओ तो मदर साथ में बैठी आपको मिलती है कि जो बच्चा हमारे टीचर उसको हैंडल कर रही है जो इंटर्न हैंडल कर रहे हैं तो मदर्स की बाहर लाइन लगी होती है वेटिंग एरिया में उनको हम पंद्रह दिन का तीन महीने का छह महीने के कोर्सेज करवा दें पेरेंट्स को सिबलिंग्स को और उसको हम बिल्कुल पूरा प्रोफेशनल के बराबर तो ना लाए सेमी प्रोफेशनल टाइप उसको कैसे हम कैटेगरी सी रिकोगशन दे दें सी नंबर किस टाइप से दे दें तो वो एक कोशिश है एंड आई एम श्योर कि इट्स टेंस ऑफ थाउजेंड्स ऑफ पेरेंट्स विल गेट अटैच्ड इन दिस फॉर्मल कोर्सेज फॉर स्पेशली फॉर आईडी चिल्ड्रन एंड ऑटिज्म एंड डाउन सिंड्रोम एंड स्पेशली इन दिस कैटेगरी कल का लोकोमोटर में फोकस वाज मोर ऑन स्टार्टअप्स ऑफरिंग प्रोडक्ट्स एंड सर्विसेज and they were more in the nature of uh, mechanical inventions electromechanical inventions carpentry related aapko kuch kuch dikh raha tha civil engineering related aapko dikh raha tha ram by city and others dikh raha tha accessibility issues mein aaj ke isme cheeze bahut hi alag hai 
क्योंकि ये जो ग्रुप है पूरा इसकी रिक्वायरमेंट्स बहुत अलग है एक तो मैंने बताया कि पेरेंट सपोर्ट ग्रुप्स उसका बहुत बड़ा महत्व है उस पर भी आज कुछ चर्चा हो गई थोड़ी सी हाउ दे आर इन्वॉल्व फिर आपका मैंने थोड़ा सा स्किल और एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप पर तो बात किया फिर अर्ली इंटरवेंशन बहुत जरूरी है तो हम कई चीजें देखेंगे एनसीआर का टूल देखेंगे अभी आंगनबाड़ी वर्कर्स के साथ मिलकर एसओपी लॉन्च हुआ है वो आज के इसमें नहीं है बट दैट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ए वाई जे ने प्रथम के साथ मिलकर कई इनिशिएटिव लॉन्च किया है तो वो इंपॉर्टेंट है पर वो भी आज के इसमें कवर नहीं हो रहा बाकी जो चीजें आई हैव पिक्ड अप इन लास्ट फिफ्टीन मंथ्स ऑफ माई टेन ओवर विच आर इंपॉर्टेंट इन दिस फील्ड आर जैसे निपीट टाटा पावर और श्यामक डावर ग्रुप के साथ मिलकर म्यूजिक थेरेपी पे काफी काम कर रहा है और जो लोगों ने भी पर्पल फेस्ट राष्ट्रपति भवन में अटेंड किया होगा आई एम श्योर वो श्यामक डावर ग्रुप के साथ आप लोगों ने भी डांस में भी हिस्सा लिया होगा मैंने तो लिया था स्टेज पे चढ़ के लिया था एंड एटलीस्ट थ्री थाउजेंड पीपल दैट डे एंड मेजोरिटी ऑफ दैम्बर पर्सन विद डिसबिलिटीज एंड चिल्ड्रेन विद डिसबिलिटीज दे वर इन्जॉइंग दैट म्यूजिक थेरेपी तो माई बिलीफ इज की ऑल ओवर सैडिक्स ऑल एन आईज एंड सी आर सीज मस्ट ऑफर म्यूजिक थेरेपी दे मस्ट हैव म्यूजिक थेरेपी देन थोड़ा सा ऑक्यूपेशनल थेरेपी की बात हुआ फिर सेंसरी रूम्स के उन्हें डेवेलप किए हैं तो वहां पर थोड़ी सी टेक्नोलॉजी आ जाती है ए आर वी आर आ जाता है वो मैंने उड़ीसा में काफी अच्छा देखा अपने कई एन आईज के सेडिक सेंटर्स में सेंसरी रूम्स में कई जगह पे ए आर वी आर का इनिशिएटिव लिया जा रहा है तो उसमें अभी भी गैजेट्स तो बाहर से आ रहे हैं ए आर वी आर के उनकी कॉस्ट लकीली काफी कम होती जा रही है बीस पच्चीस हजार तक भी हो गया है तीन सौ डॉलर तक पर उसमें जो गेम्स आ रही हैं गेम्स ए आर वी आर वगैरह में कैसे हैं खासकर ऑटिस्टिक बच्चों के लिए हैं कि उनका डर दूर हो जाए कोई बच्चा हाइट से डरता है तो वो गेम उस तरह की होगी कि बच्चे को वो वो बच्चा बॉल गेम्स आ जाती हैं और आ जाती हैं सो विच बेसिकली इम्प्रूव द अटेंशन स्पैन ऑफ द चाइल्ड तो उसमें भी वो गेम्स अभी भी बाहर से बहुत आ रही हैं इंडियन कंपनीज ऑफरिंग ए आर वी आर गेम्स अभी भी कम है वो लव टू सी मोर इंडियन कंपनीज ऑफरिंग ए आर वी आर जबकि दुनिया भर की आजकल जो अगर आप टॉप टेन वीडियो गेम्स ले लो नॉट इन आई डी फील्ड बट इन जनरल मैं बड़ी बड़ी गेम्स की बात कर रहा हूँ उसमें सेवेंटी एट्टी परसेंट काम एक्चुअली इंडियन से कर रहे हैं काफी तो बॉम्बे पुणे चेन्नई बेल्ट में अपने पी आर बी आर का काम बहुत जबरदस्त चल रहा है इंडिया में तो सो आई एक्सपेक्ट कि वो भी अगर हम भी ज्यादा यूज करेंगे एडिप स्कीम में भी इन चीजों को ले आएंगे तो एक स्केल अप हो जाएगा और इंडियन कंपनीज आएंगे तो हमें एडिप स्कीम में जो भी चीज लाते हैं उसका प्राइस पॉइंट बहुत शार्प ड्रॉप होता है फिर जैसे टी एल एम किट्स हैं आई एम वेरी हैप्पी की निपिट ने खासकर और निपमेंट ने भी थोड़ा बहुत पिछले कई सालों में मिलकर टी एल एम किट्स काफी अच्छी बनाई है अब हमने एलिपको को इन्वॉल्व किया है कि एटलीस्ट टेन एक्स स्केल अप करने के लिए हमारे इवन नेशनल ट्रस्ट में भी बेनिफिशरीज हैं मैं डीडीआरएस के बेनिफिशरीज देखता है अड़तालीस हजार जिसमें ज्यादा आईडी वाले हैं पर उन तक भी हमारी टीएलएम किट्स नहीं पहुंची इवन हमारे सिस्टम में जो लाभार्थी है बाकी तक तो क्या पहुंचेंगे सो आई होप की टी किट्स को हम ट्वेंटी थर्टी मल्टीप्लाई कर लें दिस ईयर और खासकर जो अनकवर्ड डिस्ट्रिक्ट है उनमें भी जाए तो सो Getting Alimco in has reduced our price point by about forty percent due to scale up. But I must give due credit to Nipit team to develop uh, TLM kits. फिर आपका हमारे Nipit हुआ, Nipmed हुआ और कई जगह पे इस फील्ड में Aqua Therapy, Hydro Therapy पे भी जोर दिया जा रहा है. तो मैं चाहूँगा इसपे भी और अच्छी research हो और ये भी और जगह पे आए. बाकी हमारे analysis में, CRCs में हम इस फील्ड में भी घुसे. और फुल फ्लैश स्विमिंग पूल्स ना भी हो तो आ, कुछ अलग तरीके से एंड सी एस आर फंड इज एक्चुअली रेनिंग इन दिस फील्ड तो उस पर किया जाए फिर इस फील्ड में है कि ट्रेडिशनली आप देखो पिछले सत्तर अस्सी साल की हिस्ट्री या उससे पुरानी भी तो आई डी वॉज वन फील्ड जहां पे एन जी ओज बहुत आए फिलेंथ्रोपी बहुत आए तो आज इसलिए थोड़ा सा स्टार्टअप की बजाय एन जी ओज का ज्यादा बोल बोला रहेगा क्योंकि दिस फील्ड इज एक्चुअली डोमिनेटेड बाई Lot of NGOs and uh, passionate individuals who have devoted their lives to the field of ID. Because in this field, me, you need devotion maximum, chahiye, even more than other fields. Because children need high support needs, and throughout the life. 
So devotion of the parents and of the NGO taking care, that's very important. Then you expect field that we are not covering today. Probably in the next series of talks, we will cover it. Care givers are very important. In other words, they become independent, the children and youth. In this field, you need care givers. If you are not a family member, you need paid care givers. If you go to an institution, a day care or residential, you need care givers. केयर गिवर्स इंडिया भर में बहुत ही अनट्रेंड हैं, एटीट्यूडल इश्यूज हैं, बच्चों से, बड़ों से, बूढ़ों से भी जो अपने रेजिडेंशियल एरियाज में रहते हैं, उनसे अच्छा ट्रीटमेंट नहीं करते, बहुत जगह बहुत दुख लगता है मैं देखता हूँ कि खाना पीना कैसा खिला रहे हैं, बिल्कुल जानवर हमारे नेशनल ट्रस्ट के भी रेजिडेंशियल हैं, डीडीआरसी के भी हैं, बहुत प्राइवेट हैं। दूसरा अगर हम यूडीआईडी का डेटा देखेंगे, एंड जस्ट फॉर द नॉलेज ऑफ एवरीवन हु इज़ ऑन द बीसी आल्सो, वी हैव रिलीज्ड अ डिस्ट्रिक्ट वाइज डेटा, एनोनिमाइज्ड एग्रीगेटेड डेटा। आप आज हमारे डेट और उसमें आप कोई भी डिस्ट्रिक्ट सिलेक्ट कर सकते हो आपको पूरे 21 डिसेबिलिटीज जेंडर वाइज और एज ग्रुपिंग वाइज जीरो टू छः छः से अठारह अठारह से पैंतीस एंड सो ऑन एज ग्रुपिंग वाइज आपको पूरा डिसेबिलिटीज का डेटा मिल जाएगा लोकोमोटर इश्यूज पोलियो हुआ सेरेबल पॉलिसी हुआ ड्यू टू इंस्टीट्यूशनल डिलीवरीज दो नंबर आर कमिंग डाउन बट इन लोकोमोटर अनफॉर्चुनेटली मोबिलिटी बंदों की बहुत बढ़ गई है बंदे सड़कों पे हैं सब व्हीकल्स में हैं एक्सीडेंट्स बढ़ गए हैं तो फैक्ट्रीज में ज्यादा काम करते हैं फैक्ट्री एक्सीडेंट्स हैं आप देखते हो कि जो कल आपने हैंड वाले बायोनिक हैंड और बाकी देखा वो या तो फैक्ट्री एक्सीडेंट से होता है रोड एक्सीडेंट से होता है या आपने ग्यारह किलो वॉट की तार को छू लिया उससे होता है नॉर्मली तो सो वो चीजें बढ़ रही हैं तो नंबर ऑफ लोकोमोटर बाई बर्थ इज कमिंग डाउन By accidents has gone up, but unfortunately in the ID field, the numbers are going up. The autism numbers you talk to any radiologist, any gynecologist, the numbers are going up dramatically. And बहुत cases में early intervention, regardless of how rich you are, नहीं पता चलता diagnostics नहीं होता. दो तीन साल पे जाके parents realize करते हैं कि यार issue है. फिर लेके जाते हैं इधर उधर घूमते हैं, डरते हैं. इसीलिए Early intervention, early diagnostic is very important and there are many other things in my mind. There were also many other things in my mind, but I think I should stop here now and let's start and I will intervene. But early intervention, early diagnostics, lot of these tools and in the early intervention tools, we will see that AI based tools, data analysis tools, this is a lot of big role. इसलिए जैसे मैंने ये आर वी आर की एमिफिकेशन का भी बोला इस फील्ड में सॉफ्टवेयर टूल्स आर बिकमिंग मोर इम्पोर्टेंट दैन इन द यस्टरडेज प्रेजेंटेशंस थैंक यू सो मच आई विल स्टॉप हियर एंड लेट्स स्टार्ट लिस्टिंग टू टॉक्स शेयरिंग योर थॉट्स विद सबकिदास I hope this further clarifies the objective behind organizing Purple Talk and why we should organize events like this more often in our department. Sir, it is indeed a matter of pride for all of us to work under your guidance. Your out-of-the-box thinking and innovative approach have always propelled us forward. Uh, a small request from all of you, please don't uh, throw your drinking water bottle inside the auditorium. Please take it with you and throw it in the dustbin. Thank you. So now we are going to begin our first presentation. Uh, we have approximately 80 people joining us online and more than 100 people are present with us here physically. So the first presentation will be delivered by Nipmit Chennai. The National Institute are the implementi implementation arm of the department. One such crucial institute for persons with intellectual disabilities is the National Institute for Empowerment of Persons with Multiple Disabilities, Chennai. Dr. Nachiketa Rao is the director of NIPMIT Chennai. He has worked as a clinician and academician administrative across the country, 
He is the recipient of various awards, including the prestigious Dr. N. Ratna Oration Award in the year 2024. He'll speak more about he'll speak more about the initiative undertaken by Nipmit Chennai in the field of intellectual disability. Uh, Dr. Nachiketa Rao, sir. Namaskar. Uh, am I audible? Yes, sir. You are very much audible, sir. I'm audible, right? Yeah. Some, I mean, okay, Namaskar. I'm Nachiketa Rao, uh, working as the director of the National Institute for the Empowerment of Persons with Shuni Infant Health. Yeah. Uh, working as the director for the National Institute for the Empowerment of Persons with Multiple Disabilities. Okay. My presentation. Today, the topic on which I am going to. Today, the, is, is my screen visible? Sir, it was visible earlier, but we cannot see it now. Yeah, just a moment, yes. So. <laughs> And the topic on which I am going to speak today is the cross-linguistic demands or the cross-linguistic aspects for the cross-linguistic aspects for addressing literacy needs in children, any child, especially children with learning disabilities. The reason why I have chose this topic is that. Uh, uh, sorry, sir, your PPT is not visible. It's now not. It's coming. That's not now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think now it is come. Yes, sir. Yes, I think it's visible now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. it's visible. Yes, the cross linguistic picking methods for children with specific learning disabilities. The reason why we have chosen this topic is that. Amongst certain disabilities, specific learning disability is also an area which is going up. To begin the presentation, a old Panchatantra story, the Indian way of speaking out uh, uh, profound concepts, is the story of the crane and the fox. We all know that both of them are friends. The crane used to spend hours together to catch fish, and the fox used to entertain the crane. But the uh, fox always had challenges in terms of having raw fish because of the bones. So the fox once said, how about giving me the fish which you catch and I would cook it and serve it for you. The crane said, okay, fine. That evening, the fox uh, cooked the fish, made a broth out of it, served it on a plate. The crane could not have anything and the fox enjoyed the entire meal. The other day, the crane said, okay, it's my turn now. He invited the fox for dinner and served it in a pot. We all know the story. Here, if we see accessibility to a content always depends upon the container it is served in and how it is prepared. So in this presentation, which I'm going to uh, deliver regarding the cross linguistic aspect of the influence of language, I would like all of you to focus upon the accessibility based upon how the content is served and how it can be simplified so that the accessibility becomes better. The next slide. And the perspective of looking at people with disabilities has absolutely changed, especially after the RPWD Act, Act, because accessibility has become the right of the person. Accessibility to infrastructure, accessibility to justice, accessibility to jobs, accessibility to education. The significance of accessibility to, to education has been put up by the UNESCO to an extent that they say just 10% of children with disabilities from middle uh, economic nation went to school as compared to 80% of them without disability due to poor accessibility of education. Accessibility has become the responsibility of the state. And we should devise various means so that the facilities which are available, especially education, is made accessibility to people with disabilities, especially we should be cautious about how it is delivered. For our country, because accessibility has been restricted mostly to the physical infrastructure and assistive devices, but has hardly put emphasis upon the medium of instruction. We need to focus upon the same as it is significant for a multilingual country like India, where so many languages are spoken. The focus of the presentation is to elaborate upon teaching methods 
from a cross linguistic perspective in the role of language in facilitating or restricting access to education. Children with specific learning disabilities are the most hard hit. Of late, there is a change in perspective of looking at children with learning disabilities, and as previously thought that learning disability was due to brain damage, now it is well accepted that learning disability is not due to brain damage or not predominantly due to brain damage but rather due to a problem in psycholinguistic processing that is processing the language in the brain is there a connection between language and literacy yes there is a connection does script influence literacy yes it does does lack because script is the outgrowth of language script tries to visually code spoken language the proficiency with which the script does it makes a difference so script is actually the outgrowth of language language does not have an influence. It is constantly acquired throughout the world. It may be any language. The first word would be at one year, the phrases would be at one and a half years, the sentences would be somewhere around three years. But development of reading and writing skills is not constant. It varies across languages. In English, it would be a different step-by-step -step acquisition. In Hindi, it would be a different step-by-step -step acquisition. This is because the script influences. If you look at the writing system of the languages, there are just two basic types of writing system. The first writing system would be the logographic system. We write what we mean. Example, in Chinese and Japanese kanji, we use a particular symbol of a tree to depict tree. And then we put multiple trees to depict forest. So the thought or the concept is written now. As opposed to other set of languages, which can be called as alpha syllabary languages, where we code the sound units. That is, we write what we say. These are the 22 official languages of uh, India. If you look at English, then it is an alphabetic system, which means that the sound units of the language are coded in form of phonemes, one after the other. Indian language is the alpha syllabaries. English is the alphabetic language. Now, this alphabetic or the alpha syllabary languages are based upon you know, the efficiency by which it can be accessed is based upon how well they code what is spoken into the script. If you look at these two words written in two languages, that is English and Hindi, cat and cat, we can find a few differences. The first thing is that the alphabets, C, A, and T, can be written or are pronounced in multiple number of ways. For example, A can be pronounced at least in eight or different ways. C can be produced, pronounced in eight or uh, in six or more number of ways. But if you look at the Hindi script, ka and ta, both of them are pronounced in a fixed way. So the pronunciations are very much fixed for Indian languages as compared to English, where the pronunciations vary. That is one fundamental difference. The other difference is in terms of how the words or how the sound is grouped, whether in syllabic forms or whether in phonemic forms. The, to elaborate about how the first characteristic feature of the language, that is inconsistency in pronunciation influences, one of the most, you know, second most popular author in English, who is George Bernard Shaw, after William Shakespeare, once said that fish actually can be spelled as goatee. Somebody asked how. He said, in fish, the F can be written as GH, as in enough. I can be written as O, as in women. And SH, sure, can be written as TI, as in nation. So there is no one to one correspondence between what is written in English and what is spoken down in English. This is known as the opacity of language. The second aspect which we need to understand is how these sound units are actually coded. In Hindi, as I said, it is ka and ta, or in bread, as written here, it is bre and da. So it is actually coded as syllables. That is a consonant and a vowel. The consonant in ka, cat, for example, ka is ka and a. Uh, these are the two things. So consonant and va. This combination becomes a syllable and it is written. In bre, it is and these two are combined together and brought into a syllable. Similarly in da. So once they are represented as bre and da, these are two syllables which have to be heard in Hindi 
and they have to be processed at the level of syllable, which is a much lower demand as compared to phonemes. For example, in cap, in English, it is actually k, this much, but we spell it as cap. It is actually k, which needs to be processed. So it is a phoneme which needs to be processed. So it is a much more higher auditory processing demand, which is there in English as compared to Hindi. So the second aspect in which Hindi and English or Hindi or English and any Indian language would be differing is in terms of processing the sound unit. So these are the two differences which bring about a fundamental change in the language. So once a child is asked to write down the spelling of a word or to read something, he actually has to use his working memory. This working memory is a mental workbench where things from uh, things which are there as sensory inputs or from the memory are brought about, put together and are processed. This is known as working memory. And especially for instance, we ask the child to spell a word cat, then the child has to hear it, store it, bring things from the memory, break the word, bring about what are the different symbols which are used for the word cat to be written and then write it down. So working memory is actually a limited system of temporarily storing, processing the information to carry out cognitive tasks. There are multiple number of working memory models which have been put forth to explain this, starting from 1970s to 2000. <coughs> the latest is the ease of language understanding model. I have a short half a minute video to show how the ease of language understanding model can be used to understand the difference in the working memory demands put forth by English and Hindi to process reading and spelling. This is the video. I will be describing, it doesn't have sound. This is the ease of language understanding model. And a very common classroom activity is where the teacher draws a cat and asks students to write down the spelling of the word cat. So the students would be seeing it as well as would be hearing it. Once the child sees it, then the input is processed by the occipital lobe. But when he hears it, then it is processed by the temporal lobe. When this heard sound is to be processed for reading or spelling, then the area which is specifically responsible in the temporal lobe around the Heschel's guidance is known as the RAMFO. The RAMFO has the function of breaking the heard sound unit into the corresponding syllables. So as per this model, the sound is to be broken down into syllables and the RAMFO, which is there in the temporal lobe, acts as a sieve to break down these words into syllables. Once the syllables are identified, for example, in English, cat is a single syllable, these syllables are to be matched for the corresponding written units. For Hindi, it is ka and ta because of the words. Ka and ta are sounds which can be easily mapped to the corresponding written symbols because they are fixed in nature. So the processing would be implicit and top down and it would be very fast because of the fixed pronunciation and for the level in which it is pronounced, it is processed and that is at the level of syllables. But for English we can see there are multiple pronunciations and the child who doesn't have the memory needs to store it, needs to identify various multiple clues needs to search in his memory and then analyze it, then search for the right kind of word and then write it down. This is effortful, this is erroneous and this takes time. So the processing which would be happening for a language which is not transparent or which is having varied number of pronunciations would be explicit, explicit in nature because of which it will be much more time taking. So thus, there is a slower and a effortful processing in explicit language processing as compared to English. Thus, identification of syllable, which is the first step in the ease of language understanding model, would be a challenge in English as compared to Hindi. My PhD topic was on this work, in this particular domain, where I tried identifying various factors which should be predicting spelling and reading. I knew that in research, there are a set of metaphorological skills which can be used to stimulate reading and spelling and they have been found to work out very well in English. The two domains which have been found out to work out very well are phonics and phonological processing. In phonics, we try identifying sounds along with the representation. In phonological processing, we try manipulating out the word which is given and the different contents of the word. 
I tried finding out which are the domains which influence reading and spelling the most. Are they same for both the Indian languages and English? The findings were that, no, for English, it is phonological awareness and for Bengali, it was phonics, which means that in Bengali or in any Indian language, because most of them are uh, formatted in the same way, it would be the letter sound correspondence if learned appropriately, spellings can be done well. But in English, because of the varied nature of, or because of the inconsistency in spellings, there has to be phonological awareness skills, which have to be taught specifically. But isn't it a very well discovered thing? How does it make a difference? It makes a difference because, because if you look at recent textbooks in Hindi, in CBSE board, we find that the way in which spellings have taught for Hindi have taken up the phonological awareness methods. For example, for the word Prashant, they write it to break it in terms of pra, ra, a, sha, a, na, ta, a. It is absolutely unnecessary and time consuming and would be confusing the child and would be burdening the child. Because for Hindi, the word is processed at the level of syllables, not at the level of phonemes as done in English. So we cannot just take in English findings into Indian literature and this will complicate things rather than solving it. What is the way? The traditional way, the Barakhadi way in which the various vowel combinations were put across the consonants and students were asked to read out or rhyme out the entire set of consonants like the kake, kiku, kau, kanka, kake, kiko, kanka, the entire thing. So what happens in the process? The syllabic boundaries was established and we could easily break a word into the corresponding syllables, identify how it was written. What have we done? In our workbook, which we have developed, we have given the entire Barakhadi in form of pictures. All the combinations have been given. If we do it for English, what happens? If we do the same method, that is phonics, which is also prevalent in English, then just for a single word, eh, we have to teach more than 20 combinations in varying word forms, and the child has to remember exactly which form of pronunciation would be there for a particular part. So this inconsistency makes phonics not a much more effective method for English as compared to Indian languages. So what do we do for English? My study found that phonological awareness are the best predictors. What do you mean by phonological awareness? It means that there are certain rhymes which are there. For example, cap, wrap, mat, hat, wrap. This AT sound is approximately 77% consistent. So if you remember that at sound is written like AT, that 77% of the times, there are chances that it will be correct. In general, if we combine just the alphabets of the word and try deriving the spelling, it is just 23% of the times we can reach at a pronunciation. So it is that low consistent. So we have to depend upon additional cues like rhyming, which are 77% consistent, like identification of the first and the last sound of the word and what is the letter it is made up of. For example, cat is made up of, it begins with what? C. If you remember that, then this consistency is more. What, which is the sound with which the word apple becomes? If a is the sound, that's the phonological awareness skills, this consistency is 96% as compared to some 51% of consistency of the vowels per se. So, Various skills like phonological awareness skills, which include identification of the first and the last sound, rhyming, syllabifications, etc., are much more consistent. Hence, these need to be taught to children. I will take two questions one from the audience, another from the online. The online people can uh, write their question on chat box, and the concerned speaker will answer the same on the chat box. Any question? Okay. So the, our next presentation is from Blink Research and Service. Arun Fernandez. Our Andai director acting as a very good teacher also. Yeah, really and, uh, Really a, a very good talk on various teaching methods. So the normal NCRT books or CBSE books or state board books, they may not be the best for children with uh, SLD or ID issues. So it's very important that uh, we prepare a set of books which are relevant and uh, when I looked at RCA system and our special education system, 
uh, RC has about 900 colleges and uh, majorly they have a special school also attached to them. Uh, D.Ed. and B.Ed. courses. About 60% courses relate to and the special educator courses. They relate to ID issues. There are very less uh, visual and uh, SHI kind of courses for special education. For locomotor, there are no separate courses because those children go to inclusive schools or so-called normal schools. So it's very important that uh, in RCA courses, in BRD courses, especially for ID and multiple disabilities, uh, we teach them things in the way Nachiketa is also explained. Take one or two courses, have questions from uh, audience on, online audience also. Today we don't have shortage of time. Yesterday we were yes, Establish D learners as an aggregated standalone solution that brings in organizations to school, to teachers, to parents, to identify, screen, and provide necessary intervention for children in need. This endeavor has helped D learners support over 2,500 children with learning disability from six states in India. I invite Mr. Arun Fernandez to share about how his tech based learning platform is empowering the dyslexia community and the education ecosystem. Arun Fernandez, sir, over to you. Thank you so much, ma'am. So that is the biggest problem in my life because all through my schooling, when I wanted to kind of uh, explain my difficulty with teachers, which I'm overly able to answer, but when it comes to writing and reading is where, where is my difficulty, none of them actually understood that. And that made me to change seven different schools to complete my schooling. And finally, I was sent to a clinical setting called Kilpock Mental Hospital to get my uh, disability uh, board certificate. And uh, that is when I got this exemption and so on. And that medical board of doctors uh, cited at me and they told, there's nothing wrong because now I'm 36. So I'm talking about 25, 26 years before. And uh, I don't see any difficulty in you. Why, why are you misusing such kind of allowances? So that was the thing. And that actually disturbed me a lot. And finally, after a big struggle, we did get, get uh, that... Uh, uh, disability certificate and then later on that actually played a very important role in my life to kind of do something for this sector wherein this is an invisible disability I would say. One in five children are having this, such a di uh, difficulty in a mainstream school itself. They need not go to as you all know very much more than me and there is a lot of stigma attached to it, a parental denial and access and affordability to it. So why? Because if a kid, like a lot of times, uh, Imanj, uh, just before me, Imanj, uh, sir spoke uh, in Nipet, so a lot of people, uh, we kind of uh, refer to Nipet. So the first thing they'll ask is, uh, how will my child go there? Is it a different center? And so on. There's a lot of stigma because of unawareness, I would say. It is not because of the setup or anything. It's more, of, more because of unawareness. And that stigma is a lot of it attached to this uh, particular disability and uh, access is another difficulty. Why? Because all yes. such centers are all in metropolitan cities. But when we go to a, a demographic of primary school education in India, this was uh, uh, data taken by NIP, uh, by uh, uh, the database from the UDIS data and it's about 82% of government schools are only prevalent and uh, most of us not commonly we will think private schools are more but government schools are all prevalent in the unknown villages and cities of uh, towns of India and uh, for such children when they are having a difficulty what can where they can go where will they all come to metropolitan cities or facilitators who are very uh, equipped to handle such children, will they go to those uh, rural areas? So that is where uh, D-Learners was born, where we wanted to kind of uh, bridge the gap between this access from uh, individual teachers who are capable of handling such children from identification to intervention using a gamified uh, learning platform. So how it works. So our target audience is SLD and ESL, English to be a second language. And all this content, I totally agree with sir, uh, the previous uh, uh, topic uh, wherein uh, remedial education can definitely work in regional languages also uh, and work very 
it, it would work in a better form too. But as of now, we have built uh, learning tools and uh, content in English and future we can also build it in other regional languages. So that is why ESL, English to be a second language and uh, dyslexia, dysgraphia, these are all common things and we call ourselves as a PASS platform. This is an assistive tech uh, platform wherein from screening and awareness building uh, for teachers and uh, special educator, teachers in regular schools from identification of the children and giving them remedial programs. So how do we do that? So we call ourselves an aggregator wherein we have institutions, parents, teachers, special educators uh, come to our platform to access content which is gamified, uh, which is AR, VR enabled and also which is also given the data of the progress of each child. So how this all happens is we are having a suit of uh, uh, um, offerings from sensitization and awareness building and teachers checklist wherein we kind of sensitize the teachers to say that these kids who are having dyslexia are not slow learners. So there is a difference between learning slowly and reading, writing difficulty. So there is a lot of difficulty in that wherein in any common schools, we have now panned up to 67 common schools we work with. And in all these schools, we will commonly find one list called slow learner list. And that actually hates, uh, uh, like, uh, that, that disturbed me a lot. Why? Because these kids are not slow learners. They learn very well when it is taught in their mother tongue or when it is taught orally. But when it comes to writing, reading is where this difficulty. This stark difference is where in this side, such awareness programs, they can overcome and they can identify children who are having learning, reading, writing difficulty particularly and screening can happen both with the children and uh, for the teacher che checklist or a parent checklist we have uh, using a platform and uh, this assessment tool presently is now in the process of validating Manipet, uh, Hyderabad and uh, then this uh, report is given to the uh, child. All this would, I will also show it as a video. And uh, this report actually enables any teacher sitting in a metropolitan city do an assessment in a in a kid sitting in a rural uh, setting and give a report wherein we can give them early intervention. Early intervention also can be digitized using blended tools called as a blended learning uh, 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 gamified uh, platform and li uh, live worksheets and workbooks can be given to them and immersive games and graded tools will analyze the child's learning uh, potential. So the journey would happen like this when we go to a school kind of have assess, uh, uh, sensitization workshops and checklists and follow, followed by that screening and identifying the children then we kind of give them intervention. So the checklist is something like this we have uh, curated uh, in five, six different Indian languages on sensitization of children having such symptoms of SLD in their own classroom, like board popping, reversal of writing, and all those things are uh, formulated in short stories, two minute short stories, which they'll see and they'll answer certain questions and they'll get a certificate after completion. So once they do that, and uh, then they kind of identify children in their own uh, classroom to kind of have such difficulty. Uh, for instance, I'll just show you one particular. So if we see here, there is uh, trouble in making uh, friends or copying from the board. These are all very common things which they can see in, uh, uh, in a regular classroom and they can identify such children and encourage the parent also to do the screening or in the government school setting, the uh, parent might not do the screening, but the uh, aspect on wherein the assessment can be done on online wherein a teacher will join or a video call and with that all these uh, 17 uh, uh, levels of screening would be kind of administered to the child and that actually will give a very comprehensive report on the aspects on reading writing arithmetic shorter memory uh, and all those things and this is what it's a blended session I was mentioning about, wherein a teacher can actually connect with the children using a 
uh, screen wherein they can give a lot of games and uh, uh, methods to for the children, which is more uh, interesting and innovating for, uh, innovative for them. And we follow something called VAKT, Visual, Auditory, Kinesthetic and Tactile Ways of Learning. And uh, I would resonate myself when I was in school and when I was asked to go for remedial class, the same sight words or anything would be given like flashcards. And the flashcards, I will uh, see the flashcards uh, more than learning. I will be worried about myself. Why? Because now only I am saying, when will I read big books? So that uh, changed the uh, module wherein the, when it is gamified, the kids will be more motivated. Then what actually would happen is uh, there's immersive games, which is the same concept taught to the kid, is given as game form for them. And then there is live worksheet. All these, whatever the children are interacting in the platform is off. Uh, it's kind of audited, which is uh, recorded, and we are going to be able to understand the progress of the child. When we see these worksheets, these worksheets are also, whenever they are completing the worksheet, there's a QR code. Wherein it, uh, 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 in using our uh, deal, uh, VAKT app, wherein we, when we screen the worksheets, what would happen is we will be able to capture the worksheet as the child is written and the teacher from whichever place the teacher is sitting, they can actually access those. As the teacher is next to the child, then they are able to see the subject. So there is a learning case and more of the same learning process and bring them and other things. Which is more aligned on learning. And, and then there is graded to where an individual reporting of each child is captured of all the activities they do in a year. And uh, this content is being divided into uh, a five category uh, format wherein it is more on the age group rather than the standard which the child is studying. So if the child is can be in the third standard also, but uh, the child can start from fundamentals wherein we can. Uh, teach letter sound associations and so on. So I'll just show you a small uh, video on the impact what we have created using uh, our Microsoft partnership. This is only kind of the game. हमारे यहाँ सुदूर क्षेत्रों के आदिवासी बच्चे अध्ययनरत हैं यहाँ Microsoft कंपनी से साझेदारी कर Blink Foundation के द्वारा अक्षमता पर कार्यक्रम चल रहा है. जो बच्चों पर काफी प्रभाव सीन रहेगा इसका प्रशिक्षण मुझे मिला है और सर्टिफिकेट भी मुझे मिल चुका है
So here what I, I would like to say is this, if remedial content, this and by the way I am also pursuing a PhD after my two masters and uh, this is my uh, uh, PhD topic on uh, three and nine means of uh, pedagogy of learning wherein when remedial education is intervene with kids when, where, when it is interesting, when it is heard first and when it is spoken, then comprehend, then thought about it and then the reading aspect comes kids actually would actually uh, enhance reading and writing skills in a more uh, faster manner and uh, in a few two years down the line I can also show uh, such the outcome of uh, report uh, of the findings. So I'll just show you a small uh, activity wherein uh, these phonic, uh, phonics way of learning. We know that children with specific learning difficulty, language processing difficulty, face challenges manipulating word sounds. This word board over here provides an opportunity to practice spellings in a fun and engaging manner. So here, or already on the board, you see we have the blend stir and the R control R. Okay, so now you want to say, let's practice the word start. We add a T. What happens when you want to make the word chart? So we add a CH in the beginning. Very well done. What happens when you want the word part? So it's basically it's the, 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 in the game, what actually happens is every word would actually have the sounds and the, the, they will kind of simulate the learning process when they click and so on. And when a teacher is actually giving a, a graded uh, a graded test for the children and uh, when the, they are not finding the correct lines and so on, these are all the assistive tools which actually makes the teacher as close to the child as the child is actually next to the teacher by themselves. And uh, my favorite thing is this, wherein we can focus on a particular line and they can start reading it and so on. And this particular thing, as Sir was uh, mentioning about learning uh, syllabificated, so uh, like uh, uh, ocean or rainforest, rain and forest, that also can be syllabificated. And syllabification also can be done like this. Uh, if you have any question or thought you would like to share with our speaker, you may please ask him. And the people joining us online, you are requested to post your question on chat box. Uh, also, Secretary Sir, if you want to add something to this presentation. The next presentation is being delivered by Infi Heel. And the speaker is Shristi Srivastava. Shristi Srivastava is a chemical engineer from IIT Bombay and is the founder of Infi Heel. Infi Heel has built an advanced AI coach for emotional health and well-being. Infi Heel has won the IBM NASCOM Grand Challenge and is a part of Cornell University Accelerated Maha 60. We invite Shristi Srivastava, CEO and founder, Nidhi, senior psychologist, Pragati Dixit, Assistant Psychologist, to speak on Infi Heel. Team Infi Heel, please. Struggling with anxiety myself, and I identify as neurodivergent, and I have struggled to get the mental health care that I, that I need. And it turns out, this is not just my problem, it's a problem of over 150 million Indians struggling with different types of mental health challenges, uh, and over 500 million Indians struggling with life challenges such as chronic stress, grief, relationship issues. But we have even a bigger problem, which is that. We can't even talk about our problem. Mental health issues are such a stigma in our country that we would rather suffer in silence than to be judged by our society. It is lonely, confusing and debilitating in so many ways to have mental health issues. That's why we thought, <coughs> why not create? I think my, my scene is not visible. Um, just check it. Yes, we can see your screen. Now, now you can see it. Yes, yes. Which is why we thought, what, are, what would it be like if we had an anonymous judgment free space where we could talk about our problems, where we could get advice, where we could get access to resources and deep insights about what we need to do to improve our mental health. And we did exactly that with Hero. Enter Hero. 
the world's most advanced ai coach for emotional health and happiness an ai coach that is your 24/7 companion that is anonymous affordable and accessible throughout all around the clock inti he is here to make mental health care easily accessible by each and every one of you all a novel approach got praise and recognition from prime minister modi in his 108th national address of man ki baat coming to the problem areas of people with intellectual disability as we just spoke that they are they comprise of 1.5% of indian population and they comprise of almost 15% of the mental health care burden which shows the need to actually have a holistic and comprehensive mental health care solution the problem areas of people with intellectual disability is riddled with stigma outdated ways of treatment hesitancy to share their issues limited access to specialized issues long wait times lack of affordable therapists out no centralized mental health records and no attention being paid to the caretakers of the person with intellectual disability most solutions that we see in the market are not built with keeping accessibility in mind and there is a overall lack of community support for people with disability and their caregivers people are evidently not getting the mental health care support that they need so our solution targets a, a few areas we have of course built hero which will help you and assist you in in times of need and will give you advice just like a co therapist would but additionally we also have diagnostic assessments that are made by a psychologist we have therapist matching which is based on personality and needs we also have disability affirmative therapy we have counseling and uh, therapy sessions for caretakers as well we have psycho education modules for disability for parents of children with special needs and we also provide strategies for behavior management for parents with children with special needs how did we build this we use the best large language models think of say chat gpt and and claude some of the best most powerful ai systems where we actually put in our own data a data that is prepared meticulously by subject matter experts which includes clinical psychologists doctors psychiatrists special cases and is tested vigorously to create the best impact this is how we managed to create something that is the world is just ai coach for most and health and well being but what about high risk cases we always think that if we going to use ai in mental health what happens if somebody is feeling suicidal what happens if somebody is having a psychotic breakdown this is why at in hilo we triage people into three risk categories high medium and low if it's a high risk person we direct them to national and state distress helplines outside of, of the chatbot we also have our own distress helpline additionally we have a safety kit and resources within the chatbot itself if a person is moderate risk which includes clinical conditions like adhd and autism and over 70 plus disorders we match people to the right therapist for their needs based on their specialization and personality and modality we have self self guided healing pathways for psycho education within the chatbot itself additionally we have guided exercises mindfulness and mood trackers for low risk people we have music therapy we have therapeutic cards meditation psycho education and we even recommend podcasts movies and songs that can help people get better additionally we also provide some very sound advice which is based on the data that is prepared by clinical psychologists counseling psychologists and special educators in terms of industry recognitions pm modi of course acknowledged and praised us in his 108th national address additionally we won the idm as from ai challenge we have been working in districts in maharashtra such as jalgaon nashik and pune we have been partnering with hospitals in in lucknow in in mumbai in bhopal and in delhi and we have also been a part of startup india as well as atal innovation mission of niti ayog so use cases of people with intellectual disability nidhi you can take over on this yeah. so uh, we have talked a bit about the chart for that is most uh, our share my screen is good for that i'm just wait a second
Ma'am, you can carry on your presentation, ma'am. We can hear you. I'm just sharing my screen. I believe they are doing a great job. Uh, we are referring more to the mental health challenges, anxiety and depression and caregiver burnout that caregivers face. Uh, therapy is very, very expensive and which is why we are actually enabling that process. And uh, we have a network of over 1,000 mental health professionals uh, that, that uh, actually specialize in different forms of therapy. And uh, looking at all the esteemed institutions over here, such as NEPED, NCRT, all the CRCs and RCs, uh, all I can say is that it would really help if we can collaborate with you and if we can get some kind of validation for the product that we built. And also, uh, we really want help with reaching out to caregivers of people of, of uh, people with intellectual disability as well as people with disability in, in general. So thank you so much for giving this opportunity to us. Uh, yes, I think that's about it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Team Enfihi. That was a wonderful presentation, madam. Uh, may your product and services, may the product and services developed by you. Part of the input is voice input for you, right? And yes. you told about feeding a lot of data sets to the chatbot that you've created. How inclusive are these data sets? And where I'm coming from is overstimulation and also challenges related to certain disabilities might lead to certain kind of speech impediments, right? If somebody's trying to give in a voice input and they're emotionally overstimulated or they have a speech impediment, which is a direct result of their disability. Uh, are mm -hmm. you training your chatbots with such kind of inclusive data sets? Because what happens more than often is that innovations made for people with disability don't have data sets coming from people with disability. So just try to understand if you're doing that as well. Or how sure. difficult is it to do that or how easy is it to do that? Yes, absolutely. That's a great question. And thank you so much uh, for appreciating our efforts. We are essentially trying to use uh, third party platform for speech to text because they have like the largest data set so just like the ministry and country and mental health and uh mental health so you work with mental health so what is the difference between them or how will it be so mental health is a very important part of mental health and mental health is a very important part of mental health so you will call them call them and then you will 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 call them हमारे हमारे केस में हम एक एआई सिस्टम यूज कर रहे हैं तो दूसरे साइड पे इंसान नहीं है काफी लोगों को ये दिक्कत होती है कि वो अपने परेशानियों के बारे में किसी इंसान के साथ नहीं डिस्कस करना चाहते हो हम खुद भी अपनी परेशानियों के बारे में अपने करीबी लोगों से भी नहीं डिस्कस करना चाहते और स्ट्रेंजर से तो कई बार और भी डिस्कस नहीं करना चाहते है ना क्योंकि हमें नहीं पता कि क्या होगा हमें हमें लगता है कि हमें जज किया जाएगा तो AI जो है वो थोड़ा सा वो प्रोसेस इजीअर बना रहा है क्योंकि एनोनिमस है आपको अपना नेम डिस्क्लोज करने की जरूरत नहीं है आप बस आ जाइए अपनी प्रॉब्लम डिस्कस करिए एंड हमारा जो AI को थेरेपिस्ट या AI कोच जो है वो आपका समस्या का निवारण करने की कोशिश करेगा और आपको अलग अलग सजेशंस देगा अगर आप टेली मानस जाते हैं जो कि एक्सट्रीम केसेस में ज्यादा रिकमेंडेड है तो वहां पे ज्यादातर सॉल्यूशन जो होगा टॉप बेस्ड होगा हमारे यहां आपको ऑडियोस भी सुनने को मिलेंगे आपको मेडिटेशन भी मिलेगा आप बहुत सारे और फीचर्स यूज कर सकते हैं जो आपने देखे सेल्फ केयर कार्ड्स हुए और एक्सरसाइजेस का डेमोस्ट्रेशन भी हम देते हैं जो कि शायद एक फोन कॉल में पॉसिबल ना हो माय बेसिक ऑब्जर्वेशंस आर अ फ्यू वन इज ऑब्वियसली यू हैव टेकन एन एलएलएम एंड ट्रेंड इट विद योर ओन डेटा सो इवन इफ इट इज इन इंग्लिश नाउ बेसिकली टेक्स्ट टू स्पीच स्पीच टू टेक्स्ट एंड विद इंटोनेशंस नाउ एंड आल्सो ट्रांसलेशन बिटवीन लैंग्वेजेस दीस आर सॉल्व्ड प्रॉब्लम्स so even yes. if backend is in English, I can ask something in Punjabi and ask it to yes. reply in Tamil, and that is now a solved problem. Now, yes. one question which was asked uh, to you was about the non-standard speech. For example, some people stammer. Hmm. People hmm. Cerebral palsy may have a non-smooth kind of voice. So hmm. there is a hmm. Google project relate. Just uh, see it on the net. Google project relate. Earlier it yes. was called Project Euphonia. Now it's called mm -hmm. Project Relate. I believe it's on GitHub also. 
right. it is yes, a non standard speech and non standard uh, speech so that's actually very good i tried it out and uh, uh, if, if person has cerebral palsy and we can't uh, basically make out what he or she is saying mm -hmm. they train oh, the google for oh, oh, 10 minutes oh, in their voice uh, the ai really understands and converts that into very standard voice so yes sir that feature uh, i had reserved these comments for actually hearing session yeah. uh, but uh, today this question came mm -hmm. up so the non standard speech is a very big issue in the disability sector and yes sir Google project related is something i could find on the net and i could actually play with it Yes, so, so that is wonderful. We will integrate that. Uh, right now, we're using Amazon Poly, which works uh, reasonably well. But as you said, we need a specialized uh, set as well. So we will integrate it for for people with disabilities. That is one. So basically, your uh, one is the chatbot thing. Second is yes. like Tracto. You are trying to create a directory of psychologists, clinical psychologists, rehab psychologists, psychiatrists, yes. and caregivers directory, and maybe later on even the residential homes. Now, if someone yes. in Mumbai wants to, let us say, put their 12-year-old son into a residential home and he has an office issue or ID issue, and they are willing mm -hmm. to, let us say, uh, they tell the chatbot that I am willing to pay 30,000 rupees a month. So, it should be able to do that matchmaking. So, in the yes, next session, probably you will have uh, Robi Singh who heads the such residential schools in the country. There are many good and bad and ugly all kind of ones. So we yes. can try to do these directories. Then okay, sir. yesterday morning or today I was talking about our own UDID data anonymized available, district hmm. wise, disability wise, gender wise, age grouping wise. Similarly on RCA website, if you go, we have a registry of certified professionals. So at the moment it's not API based, uh, open to public. We have API internally in the system. But the database is open to public through basically page by page, district by district, you can look at the data and download it. So that will like authentic data. And obviously I'm sure you will have some monetization and you'll be yes. making people contact to therapists who are enrolled with you in a sense. So not yes. all. If on my website you find in Nagra 50 specialists, probably only 20 will have enrolled with you. So probably you will be showing those 20. But uh, you can cross check with our database that those 20 are authentic ones. So, okay, sir. that CR registry of RCI you can definitely use. And uh, many other people like you also who are into this sector, they can use those uh, data from RCI data set also. Basically, okay, that, those those are, uh, that's, that's great. I think we've already taken our data from RCI itself. <laughs> so, our entire database is, is the RCI database. Okay. And of course, we try to pull in data from some other sources as well for the, the newer. Uh, for the counseling psychologists, it's a separate database, but for the clinical ones, it's as yet. And then, frankly, it should be as easy as talking to Alexa. Even when Alexa goes yes. to say, Alexa, you don't have to listen to the songs. In this language, yes. and Alexa knows that when they go to Muhammad Rafi and Shami Kapoor, they start to sing the songs. Yes, sir. So, chatbot has That's to be really good. that kind of uh, simple thing. That you understand your own thing and that's what we do. That's what the mental health is. Obviously, it has to be more uh, focused. If someone says, my child has ADHD, I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. You have to be very specific and be correct kind of things. Yes. Yes, a child says, a student says, I'm going to get a lot of math paper. These are the kind of questions Kiran and uh, Talimana's lines get. Yes, sir. So, you also try to find out what type of category is called. So, you also try to find out what type of category is called. Sir, you also try to find out what type of category is called. सर उनसे बात हुई थी उनके टीम से बात हुई थी उन्होंने जो कहा उनके पास लाजमी सीरियर ज़्यादा केसेस आते हैं क्योंकि जो माइल्ड केसेस होते हैं उसे पीपल ट्राई टू फाइंड दे ओन सॉल्यूशंस ऑन दी इंटरनेट सो पीपल पीपल इट इस नॉट एक्सेक्टली मेंट फॉर सुसाइड प्रिवेंशन डेडिकेटेडली बट � आपने बॉट को लगता है कि यार ये तो सुसाइड तो नहीं कर लेगा तो आप उससे बिना पूछे उसके मम्मी पापा को या किसी हेल्पलाइन को बोल देते हो कि यार इस फोन से कॉल आ रहा है ये तो गड़बड़ हो सकती है ऐसा कुछ भी फीचर है क्या सर हम नंबर लेते हैं एक केयर टेकर का एंड उसे हम अलर्ट करते हैं जब ये हम तो अगर रेड फ्लैग डिटेक्ट हो तभी उसके उसके बियॉन्ड हम लोग देखते हैं कि ये डेटा सेट में क्या है ये तो कॉन्फिडेंस है वो अनोनिमिटी नहीं है एक्जेक्टली 
right to make to make people feel that they they a content is not being tracked only red flags are being are being observed all right so that लिपिड के राम कुमार जी और उनकी टीम से प्रोबेबली दे कैन कोऑर्डिनेट कंटिन्यू कोऑर्डिनेटिंग विद इंफीरियर टीम श्योर यस श्योर सर विल डू दैट सर थैंक यू सर ओके एनी अदर क्वेश्चंस प्लीज एंड अदरवाइज गो टू द नेक्स्ट वन ओके सी कॉस एक एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर एनसीईआरटी न्यू दिल्ली हैज जॉइंड अस ऑनलाइन शी विल बी स्पीकिंग ऑन प्रोसेस्ड मोबाइल ऐप दिस ऐप इज यूज्ड फॉर प्री असेसमेंट होलिस्टिक स्क्रीनिंग टूल फॉर डिसेबिलिटी uh over to you bharti madam participants who are joined either online or offline and also the fellow presenters and you know i have been listening to the deliberation since yesterday and it's a pleasure listening to the observations and some are which are given by and the directions given by honorary honorable secretary sir thank you so much sir for being active and highly sensitive towards the concerns that are being raised having said this once again thank you for the opportunity this is a humble step or initiative by cit ncert for screening of students with special needs who are studying in mainstream schools as we call them inclusive schools and as we all are aware we recognize 21 disability condition post rpwd act 2016 so precious is one of its kind screening tool which is statistically standardized and is also available in the form of an android app can we go to the next slide please um the slides are taking a little time to move next one please so this slide gives you the background of why we needed precious and what is precious and what is the present context and what is universal screening so this august gathering may not need to hear why and what is the screening tool so we can move on to the next slide please next one yeah uh, so these are the 21 disability conditions which are given in rpwd act and we are all aware of it so we'll move on to the next slide which shows who all are the three stakeholders who can function on the precious app the very first stakeholder is the principal then the teachers regular teachers and the special educators the principal is the hm or in charge or uh, the headmaster of the school who uh, who along with teacher and special educator had to create a uh, id on precious app register themselves and what are the mandatory conditions for each of the three stakeholders will be ahead move on to the next slide the principal is mandated to register on the precious app using the email id which is of the school and is registered on the udice portal so the principal is able to self verify if the email id at from which the principal is registering is linked to the schools udice code and the slide here is showing you the landing page of precious which is available as android app on the google play store and the remarkable thing is on the landing page and flash screen itself the faqs and the precious ebook is available so if you are interested in precious ebook you can get it on the flash screen or the first screen of the precious app Let's move on to the next one, please. So uh, this is the cover page. Yeah. So on the flash screen, we can choose our preferred language at the top left, top right corner where the alphabets are given, and then login. If you are already registered, then you can directly go to the login. Next one, please. The precious is available in. 18 English, Indian languages including Hindi Marathi which um Hindi Marathi Odia Punjabi and all the languages that we can see on the screen and if the language chosen in Hindi the app will work in Hindi which is also shown on the slide then 
at present. Next one, please. So how to register on Precious as a new user? It's very simple. Ma maximum of us e are either using Gmail or Yahoo as our uh, Gmail as our email ID. So we can uh, sign on or log in on Precious app using the single click sign on using Google and Yahoo. In case you are using email IDs which doesn't have Gmail or Yahoo IDs, then you have to enter that email address and an OTP would be sent to the mail ID and you will be verified with the help of OTP. The OTP will be valid for 120 seconds and after 120 seconds or two minutes, you can definitely regenerate the OTP. Thank you so much. Next one. Yes. So how to register as a new user since the app is being used at Pan India level and it was launched in um, 6 September 2000. 22 during the Shikshak Parv, which is organized by Ministry of Education. And since then, till date, more than 78,000 people have registered on Precious app. So um, it is, and the number is still growing and we are constantly counting the numbers. And more than one crore children have been screened both, they have completed the screening for both part one and part two. The part one screening is done with the help of the regular teachers who are also engaged in the delivery of the curriculum material. And part two screening is done by the special educator who primarily vets the observations given by the regular teachers in the part one of the screening. So this is a simple registration process which requires you to send uh, share a small basic details of the individual who is trying to register on the Precious app. Next one, please. So once a teacher is or a person is registered on the Precious app, this message is there on the screen of the mobile, which says that you have successfully registered on the Precious application using the email ID. It shows the email ID from which you have registered. And it also shows the verification request that has been sent to the principal at which email address. Because many of the, uh, many a times it is our experience which says that principal often change in the schools, inclusive schools or mainstream schools. So if the principal changes the email ID of the school that is linked to the UDI's portal, more than often it is not available or it is not in the knowledge of the other principal or the new principal or the in-charge principal or HM who is working in case the principal gets transferred. So this message helps in finding out at which email ID the verification request has been sent to the principal. This is a small internal check and balance of the pressure staff so that the data is safe and secure and nobody can access the data of the children with disabilities and only the verified teachers and special educators are able to work on the pressure staff. Next one, please. So this is after the login, uh, the middle screen shows the landing page of a special educator, which has six action points that you can do either the uh, screening of part two, then you can change your profile, you can see updates, you can also access Precious ebook, which is also available on the flash screen or the first screen of the Precious app. And you can also know about Precious and then you can also access the frequently asked question. FAQs are also available on the first page of the app. Next one, please. So um, this is teacher's login. Again, the teacher, the regular teacher here is the regular teacher. So the regular teacher is one who may or may not have a training in the disability studies or may, may not know the name or symptoms or characteristics of the disabilities. So now your question must be in your mind that how then a regular teacher will be able to contribute in the screening process. So for that, let's move on to the next one so that the idea would be a little clear. In the part one of the screening, next one please, in the part one of the screening uh, process, next one, in the part one of the screening process, what we do is 
we have listed few behavioral characteristics. Now, these behavioral characteristics, next one please, the few behavioral characteristics that we have listed are, uh, as you can see, yes, the previous one where the characteristics were coming, 1.1 or 1.2, yeah, this one. So, this student has difficulty in walking or needs support to walk or climb stairs. So, these kind of behavior symptoms or characteristics are there in the part one of the screening tool and it has list of 63 symptoms and behavior characteristics. A regular teacher is easily able to observe as he or she spends more time with the children in the classroom and outside classroom in various situations within the school. So, the regular teacher has to read the symptoms and just check whichever is applied to a particular child and each of the statement is linked to a particular disability condition that is why these characteristics are not uh, numbered as 1 to 3 rather they are numbered as 1.1 1.2 so that the coding is done this way so this is how the regular teachers are engaged in the screening process and once the regular teacher gives their observation they complete the survey then the data automatically goes to the special educator associated with that particular school and the special educator has the option of reviewing what observations the regular teacher has given in part one of the survey. The special educator since also working in the same school, the special educator is advised to observe the child again in detail if he or she has not observed the child previously and then give his or her observation you know when the observations of the regular teacher which he or she has given in the received in the part one of the survey then move on to the next one please the special educators as we all are aware they are expert in only one or two disability conditions Thank you so much for asking this question. And um, yes, parents' ka involvement ye is me hai. Or parents' ka hum kaise engagement karte hai jab principal data aage bhejte hai higher authorities ke liye. Since this is only a screening app, to hum kabhi bhi is uh, pressures ke data ke basis par hum ye nahi kehte ki ye disabilities bachche mein hai hi. We always say that it's a tentative disability, that it needs to be certified, it needs to be assessed further. To wo kaam assessment and certification camps mein hota hai. To principal ki jo guidelines hai pressures app mein, us mein bahut clearly mentioned hai ki bachche ka data aage CRC, BRC level पर कहीं पर भी अगर आप शेयर करें जहां पर भी आपके असेसमेंट और आइडेंटिफिकेशन कैंप्स की प्लानिंग होती है तो पेरेंट्स को इन्फॉर्म जरूर किया जाए कि आपके बच्चे में हमने ये ये बिहेवियर्स देखे हैं उनके साथ कंसल्टेशन के बाद भी उनके एग्रीमेंट के बाद ही आप आगे डेटा भेजते हैं ये प्रिंसिपल की रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी है थैंक यू सो मच फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन आपकी सॉरी 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 आपकी वॉइस बहुत क्लियर नहीं है तो समबडी दे नीड टू रिपीट द क्वेश्चन मामा आई एम क्लियर यस बेटर एक्चुअली मैम आई एम कम विद कम अप विद द इशू लाइक फॉर द टाइम टाइम लिमिटेशन फॉर ओपीपी हम 120 जी 120 सेकंड्स इज क्वाइट लेस फॉर एनी पीडब्ल्यूडी पर्सन बिकॉज़ इट आल्सो वाइज इट्स अ टर्म चेंज गाइडलाइंस बिकॉज़ सम PWD like visually impaired or SLD IDs, they uh, usually take more time to uh, fetch the data or to copy the OTP and then paste or the type on, on this uh, particular application. So I just if I increase the time limitation up to 10 minutes or more than that. Pleasure listening to your observations. <laughs> so three, four observations here. Jee, is, sir. Uh, we have on you guys. Apparently about 22 lakh data figure available and there are a number of uh, PWD activists in the country who keep on analyzing this data and actually analysis is good by the dropout rate kya hai, ki eights ke baad, tenth ke baad bachyo ki sankhya baakki bachyo se aati kyo raha jati hai, especially for deaf children 
and then they say that girls with disabilities that drop out after class five, eight, ten, twelve is phenomenally high. एक तो वो है कि there is some data available on you guys. Second, you are collecting data on purchase tab. And my gut feeling is कि inclusive schools में भी जो बच्चों का survey होता है purchase tab में, maybe fifty percent of them might have uh, or lesser number might have already UDID card or enrollment number. So we'll be very जी. happy अगर आपकी app में अगर वो teacher पहले ही पूछ ले कि बेटा UDID है क्या या enrollment number है वो नंबर डालते ही हमारे एपीआई से पूरा डेटा आपकी ऐप में भी आ सकता है पर वो क्रॉस चेक करना है टीचर का 63 क्वेश्चन वो भी एक अच्छा आइडिया है बट द पॉइंट इज कि अगर हम यूडीआईडी को भी लिंक कर दें आपकी प्रोसेस ऐप के साथ और यूडाइस में भी हो तो देन देर आर लॉट ऑफ सर्विसेज विच यू कैन गिव टू द चाइल्ड फॉर एग्जाम्पल बच्चे का जब ऑलरेडी सिस्टम में अगर हो कि यार इसका ये यू डी नंबर है तो बच्चे के एडमिट कार्ड पे आ जाए कि इसको आधा घंटा एक्स्ट्रा मिलेगा इसको स्क्राइब मिलेगा कि नहीं मिलेगा तो अभी उसके लिए अलग से एप्लीकेशन लगानी पड़ती है पेरेंट्स को फिर अगर कोई जैसे बच्चा ब्लाइंड है तो सिस्टम में आ जाए कि यार इसको तो ब्रेल बुक्स भी भेजनी है छठी में है तो हम उसको ब्रेल बुक्स एक मैपिंग कर दें कि ये वाले स्कूल ये निगमेट केयर करेगा ये वाले स्कूल सियासी देवा करें इनको ब्रेल की बुक्स भेजेगा और ऐसी मतलब बहुत सारी सर्विस जो है वो बच्चों को बिना पूछे बिना और एप्लीकेशन भरे कई चीजें हम दे पाए जैसे लेटर से ब्लाइंड बच्चे हैं टेंथ में आ गया हमारे सिस्टम में दिख जाए कि इसका ये यूडीआईडी है और इसको हम स्मार्टफोन भी दे सकते हैं तो देर आर मैनी थिंग्स जो हम प्रिडिक्टिव सर्विसेज दे सकते हैं तो सो माई रिक्वेस्ट इज कि हम यू के साथ कैसे लिंकेज कर सकें एंड देन ऑफरिंग लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स और उनके ये हर साल हर पेरेंट की स्ट्रगल है एग्जाम टाइम पे हर साल उनको बहुत दौड़ भाग करनी पड़ती है ये एग्जाम में एक्स्ट्रा आधा घंटा लेने के लिए और हॉल टिकट पे लिखवाने के लिए हाउ कैन दैट बी ऑटोमेटेड यूजिंग दिस सिस्टम बट आई एम वेरी इंप्रेस्ड विद द परचेस टैब कि इसमें बहुत अच्छे ढंग से कॉमन सेंसिकल ढंग से 63 क्वेश्चंस का वो कैसे डिसेबिलिटी मैपिंग किया है इट्स रियली वेरी गुड थैंक यू सो मच सर फॉर द गाइडेंस एंड सर आपने जो भी uh, अभी कंसर्न रेज किया है वी आर आल्सो थिंकिंग अबाउट द कंसर्न एंड वी आर Just brainstorming how the precious app के अराउंड हम एक इको सिस्टम बिल्ड कर पाए सो दैट समग्र के जो भी प्रोविजन है बच्चे को वो ऑटोमेटिकली हम उसको स्ट्रीमलाइन कर पाए दैट्स अ ब्यूटिफुल आइडिया की हम यू डी आई डी को भी इससे लिंक कर पाए सो थोड़ा सा टाइम हमें और चाहिए अभी इको सिस्टम का ब्रेन स्ट्रॉमिंग चल रहा है कि कैसे उसको करेंगे उसमें डेफिनेटली यू डी आई डी को भी हम उसमें लिंक करना चाहेंगे And we would like to work in close collaborations as we have always been working. Thank you so much, yes, sir. They will be showcasing some of their product developed by them. Dr. Kishan Kumar Singh, lecturer in rehabilitation psychology, will be, will be speaking on IQ assessment. Dr. Prachi Sharma, lecturer in rehabilitation psychology and officer in charge, will be speaking on specific learning disability. Ms. Sabri Ghosh, senior social worker, will be speaking on teaching learning material. I welcome Nepal team on the stage. Sir, special educator joined. Uh, Namaskar. My name is Kishan Kumar Singh, lecturer in rehabilitation psychology, Nepal University. Uh, sir, actually, my jo demonstration is on the ABT tool, Nepal Indian Test of Intelligence card. So basically, this we have developed under the supervision of uh, Ministry and Director. So. Uh, तो बेसिकली हम टूल डेवलप करते हैं नीति का टूल डेवलप करते हैं तो हमारे सामने चैलेंजेस ये थे कि जो भी जितने भी टूल हैं या बेसिकली एडाप्टेड हैं या हम उनको बाहर का टूल यूज कर रहे थे जैसे विस्क है या फिर स्टैंडफर्ड बिनेट है या फिर बट अगर हम मिसिक और डीके यूज कर रहे थे तो भी इंडियन एडाप्टेशन था और भी बहुत लॉन्ग बैक था जैसे फोर्टी ईयर्स फिफ्टी ईयर्स बैक थे तो करेंट सिनारियों में जैसे जनरेशन टू जनरेशन चेंज होती गई और अभी हमारा डिजिटलाइजेशन का टाइम है तो हमारे पास चैलेंजेस जैसे कि बहुत सारी चीजें उसमें आउटडेटेड हो गए थे या फिर वो नहीं थे जैसे कि एक क्वेश्चन आता है कि एक रुपए में कितने पैसे थे तो बहुत सारे हमने ऑब्जर्वेशन में देखा कि एक रुपए में कितने पैसे बहुत सारे बच्चों को नहीं पता होता बट उनको पता होता था कि एयर कलर में कितने रुपए है जैसे बहुत सारे क्वेश्चन थे बहुत सारे चैलेंजेस थे जो की अब हमें उस स्टेबिलिटी नहीं आ पा रही थी और इंडियन एडाप्टेशन के साथ साथ उसको अपडेट करने की जरूरत थी तो जब हम इस टूल को बात करते हैं कि तो इंटेलिजेंस टेस्ट इंटेलिजेंस का मतलब जैसे कि दूज टू डेजिग्नेट कंसिडरेशन ऑफ मेंटल एबिलिटीज 
by which we uh, acquire and apply knowledge and skill function effectively in life. So basically, intelligence का मतलब जो definitions जैसे कि David Rushner है, Christian Berg है या Binet है, इस तरह किसी भी definitions को अगर देखते हैं, तो इसमें ये चीज बड़ा कामन मिलता है कि किस तरीके से हम अपने society के साथ, अपने daily activities के साथ, daily challenges के साथ, जो daily activities में आती है, तो उसके साथ हम किस तरीके से deal कितने effective तरीके से कर पा रहे हैं, वो हमारे intelligence को display करता है या उसके intelligence को represent करता है। Next please. So, intelligence testing is basically very precise and they need to be trained in the training and after the training we do it. And through this, we see that why the intelligence testing is needed. So, when we look at its history, we need to be able to see that in the classroom, we need to be able to see the scholastic backwardness or the learning disabilities or the other challenges that are not able to see their learning. So, in which way we need to be able to see फाइंड आउट कर पाए और उनको रिमेडियल क्लासेस से बाकी चीजें देते हुए उनको किस तरीके से हम इंक्लूसिव सेटअप में ले आ पाए तो हम देखते हैं कि जो निकूट टेस्ट है निकूट इंडेक्स टेस्ट ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस ये इन चीजों को पुलफिल करती है कि किस टूल के माध्यम से हम एक तो डिफरेंशिएट कर पाते हैं कि कौन इंटेलेक्चुअल डिसेबिलिटी में है तो उसको हम इंडियन सिनारियों में या इंडियन सेटअप में उसको हम कल्चर में कर पाते हैं जैसा कि आप सब लोग सभी को पता है कि ये जो टूल हम डेवलप के प्रोसेस में थे तो हमने आल ओवर इंडिया से टोटल जैसे एनएसओ से का सिलेक्ट किया जैसे एनएसओ से के सिक्स जोन डिवाइडें तो हमने सभी सिक्स जोन से अपने टूल को डेवलप किया है और उसमें हमने टोटल ग्यारह सेंटर्स से टूल को ठीक है तो जैसे कि हमारा जो ऑब्जेक्टिव था टू डेवलप इंडियन टेस्ट ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस जो इंडियन कंटेक्स्ट के साथ मैच कर रहा हूँ इंडियन पापुलेशन के साथ इंडियन कल्चर के साथ मैच कर रहा हूँ उसको तो हमारे जो तो ये हमारे अनिपिड इंडियन टेस्ट ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस का आउटलेट है या फिर दफ्लो चार्ट है किसको हम फाइव मेजर डोमेन्स में एसेस करते हैं जैसे नॉलेज है फ्लोइड रीजनिंग है क्वांटिटेटिव र टोटल इलेवन सब डिस्कस में करते हैं जैसे कि नॉलेज के अंदर ओकेबलरी है इनफॉरमेशन है कंप्रेंशन है एंड फ्लूड रीजनिंग के अंदर वर्बल एनालॉगीज एंड ऑब्जेक्ट्स की दी एंड क्वांटिटी रीजनिंग के अंदर अर्थमेटिक एंड विजुअल स्पेशियल रीजनिंग में सेल्फ स्पेशियल कॉन्सेप्ट एंड स्क्वायर कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड वर्किंग मेमोरी में डिजिट स्पेल फॉरवर्ड डिजिट स्पेल बैकवर्ड एंड नंबर नेम सीक्वेंस तो इसमें हम सभी डोमेंस को कवर करते हैं चाहे वर्बल हो परफॉर्मेंस हो या परफॉर्मेंस बेस्ड वर्बल बेस्ड नॉन वर्बल सभी डोमेन्स को कवर करते हुए हम एक एग्रीगेटर क्या कर सकते हैं हम उस चीजों को हम कवर कर पाते हैं जिससे कि हम आईक्यू को असेस करने के लिए जो डेली एक्टिविटीज में जितने चैलेंज आते हैं उसको हम असेस कर पाते हैं जैसे कि सपोज हम जब डाटा कलेक्शन के प्रोसेस तो हमने ये चीज देखा कि जो बड़े बच्चे हैं जैसे जो सिक्स टू एट है और जो फिफ्टीन है तो उनके ऑब्जर्वेशन में ये आया कि अभी जो ड्यू टू डिजिटलाइजेशन और बाकी चीजों का ये सब बोलते थे कि जो पहले हम पूछते थे तो हम दुकान से किसी पूछ लेंगे चले जाएंगे बट वो बोलते थे हम गूगल मैप इंस्टॉल करेंगे या ओला ऐप करेंगे और चले जाएंगे तो जो हमारा करेंट सिनारियो के हिसाब से उसके हिसाब से ये टूल भी फिट पड़ता है जैसे कि क्वेश्चन आता है फॉरेस्ट क्या है तो बेसिकली वहाँ के बच्चे बोलते थे कि फॉरेस्ट क्या है कि हमारे लाइफलाइन है जंगल है इकोसिस्टम है ये नहीं होगा तो ग्लोबल वार्मिंग होगा और जब हम उस पापुलेशन को दिल्ली और बाकी रीजन से कंपेयर करते हैं तो बोलते हैं कि जू है या पार्क है या इस तरह से उनका परसेप्शन होता है तो हमें इसको ऑल ओवर कंट्री इलेवन सेंटर्स नॉर्थ ईस्ट में साउथ एंड नॉर्थ नॉर्थ ईस्ट सभी जोन से कलेक्ट किए थे और जिसके हिसाब से हमने अपना वेलिगेशन किया था और इस टूल को हमने वेलिगेट करने के प्रोसेस में हमने इसको PKT, WIS और MISIC के साथ भी वैलिडेट किया जिसमें 0.01 पे ये सिग्निफिकेंस पाएगा जो इसको हाईली 
वैलिडेट करता है कि ये टूल इतने एडेप्टेशन में सुटेबल यूज के लिए और जो हमारा मेट्रोलॉजी था इसको हमने तीन स्टेप्स में किए थे फर्स्ट स्टेप था टेस्ट कंस्ट्रक्शन जिसमें हमने नंबर ऑफ टेस्ट को चूज किए उसके बाद सेकेंड इंस्ट्रक्शन था कि फील्ड सेंटर तो इसमें फील्ड सेंटर में जाने से पहले हमारा एक ट्रेनिंग सेशन था उसके बाद डाटा कलेक्शन देन स्टाइलेशन ऑफ टूल जिसके बाद हमें ये टेक्निकल मैनुअल मिलता है तो इसमें टोटल वन वन टू एक सौ बारह क्वेश्चन है आ, मतलब डोमेन आइटम्स है जिसपे हम इसको असेस करते हैं तो एक हम इस पर छोटा सा मतलब ध्यान देते हैं कि जैसे कि हमारे पास ये इसका स्कोरिंग सीट है और इसको एवरेज हमें करने में सिक्सटी टू नाइनटी मिनट्स का एवरेज टाइम लगता है तो हम इसको करते हैं और जब करते हैं तो फिर टेक्निकल मैनुअल टेक्निकल मैनुअल के थ्रू इसको हम देखते हैं कि राय स्कोर का परसेंटाइल स्कोर कितना बन रहा है जिसको हम टोटल करके एक अपना एवरेज आईक्यू निकालते हैं तो थ्री टू एटीन ईयर्स में हम सभी एज को कवर करते हैं जैसे कि कुछ पिक्चर्स के साथ है अलमीरा के है स्टेप स्टेपलर के है एक्स के और उसके साथ साथ कुछ उनको वोकेबलरी या सेपिंग टेबल के बारे में क्या है तो वो अपने जैसे डिटेल्स बताते हैं जिसके थ्रू उनके स्कोरिंग होता है वो जीरो वन टू उस स्कोरिंग के थ्रू उनका वोकेबलरी का असेसमेंट करते हैं उसी के साथ साथ दूसरा पॉइंट जो हमारा आता है इन्फॉर्मेशन इन्फॉर्मेशन में सेंस जैसे कि किसी पौधे को बड़ा होने के लिए क्या चाहिए या फिर आ, हमारा जिस ग्राफ पे हम रहते हैं उसका नाम क्या है या देश के प्रथम प्राइम मिनिस्टर कौन से क्या नाम था या फिर फ्रूट्स के नाम बताइए वेजिटेबल्स के जो अंडरग्राउंड होते हैं तो इस तरीके से हमारे पास नॉलेज इंफॉर्मेशन का हम असेसमेंट करते हैं एंड कंप्रेंशन के लिए जैसे हम उनसे क्वेश्चन होते हैं कि अगर मान लीजिए आपको अपने दोस्त का पेन मिलता है तो आप क्या करेंगे उनको किसी पर्टिकुलर सिचुएशन में वो किस तरह के सिचुएशन को कंप्लेन करते हैं एंड वर्बल एनोलॉजीज में जैसे क्वेश्चन आते हैं कि मंकी क्लाइम देन दिस वाट इस तरीके से उनको सिचुएशन देते हैं तो कहने मतलब हमारे जो भी डोमेन्स हैं वो जैसे कि आजकल बच्चों में हम देखते हैं कि जब बच्चे चैलेंज आते हैं आई क्यू एस के लिए तो पेरेंट्स रिपोर्ट करते हैं कि हमारा बच्चा मोबाइल के साथ तो बहुत अच्छा है बट जब हम बात करते हैं कि आ, पेपर पेंसिल के साथ तो उसमें वो उतना परफॉर्म नहीं कर पाता तो हम इसमें इस डोमेन पे भी देखते हैं जैसे वर्बल एनोलॉजीज है या फिर ऑब्जेक्ट सीरीज है अर्थमेटिक है एंड स्पेशियल कॉन्सेप्ट स्क्वायर कंस्ट्रक्शन ये वाले स्क्वायर कंस्ट्रक्शन को ड्रा कर प्रेस कार्ड के साथ दिखा के आप ऐसे ड्रा करें तो इस तरीके से आते हैं एंड उसके बाद वर्किंग मेमोरी में हम अशेस करते हैं डिजिट स्पैन फॉरवर्ड डिजिटल स्पैन बैकवर्ड फॉरवर्ड में जैसे उनको नंबर्स देंगे फोर सिक्स थ्री फाइव एट और उसको रिपीट करना होता है बच्चे को तो उसके हिसाब से डिजिट बैकवर्ड के लिए जैसे कि हम वन टू थ्री है तो थ्री टू वन को बैक करना होता है जैसे कि टू फाइव एट सेवन नाइन इसको बैकवर्ड करना जिसके थ्रू तो वर्किंग मेमोरी प्रोसेस करते हैं एंड नंबर एंड नेम सीक्वेंसिंग के लिए भी सेम है कि आ, हम उनको जैसे बोलेंगे टू सिक्स क्लाक बनाना उनको सीक्वेंस रखना पड़ेगा टू टू के साथ अगर बनाना आया है तो सिक्स के साथ क्लाक तो टू क्लाक सिक्स बनाना इस तरीके से नेम एंड नंबर सिक्वेंसिंग है और एप्लीकेशन ऑफ निपिक इंडियन टेस्ट ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस तो इसका प्रोफाइल एनालिसिस कम्युनिटी इंटरवेंशन कैरियर काउंसलिंग एंड पर्सनल सिलेक्शन एजुकेशनल एंड वोकेशनल गाइडेंस एंड रिसर्च पर्पज के लिए हम यूज कर सकते हैं
जो लिपि है लिपिड इंडियन टेस्ट ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस का बीकेटी के साथ वो कोरिलेशन सिग्निफिकेंट है एट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन लेवल पे एंड सो ये एज रेंज है थ्री टू एटीन इयर्स और इस लिपिड किट में हमें जो मिलता है टेक्निकल मैनुअल एग्जामिनर मैनुअल टेस्ट बुकलेट रिकॉर्ड फॉर्म ब्लॉक्स स्टॉप वॉच कि सबको इसको ऑनलाइन ऑफलाइन ट्रेनिंग देके किट भी हम उनके हाथ में पहुंचा देंगे जी सर आंसर सबको कि वे स्पॉन्सरशिप पर डालने से चाहिए सर आपको पता ही है कि ट्रेनिंग तो करने बट किट वाला कोई हां तो नहीं किट 2000 को 6000 रुपीस में गिफ्ट ऑफ करता है सर आपको और आप भी बताएंगे इस बारे में सर अभी तक हमने 200 से ज्यादा मास्टर ट्रेनर्स को ट्रेन किया हुआ है सर एंड uh, अभी रिसेंटली हमने राजस्थान सीआरसी में छत्तीसगढ़ में से भी हमने पूरा ट्रेनिंग किया सर जो मध्य वाले से बहुत सारे लोग आए हैं सर अभी सेक्रेटरी सर के कलेक्शन के अनुसार सर हम हम लोग प्रोग्राम अपना एनआईज सीआरसी के और आरसीएस के लोगों के लिए कंडक्ट कर रहे हैं सर उसका फ्लायर हम निकाल रहे हैं इसी महीने में उसको जैसे इंडियन टेस्ट ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस का सर इसमें जो है पीपल हैव टू बी गिवन अ फिजिकल कॉपी सर तो हमने इसके लिए हमने टेंडर भी किया हुआ है एंड अबाउट 1000 सेट्स वी आर प्लानिंग टू एक्चुअली डिस्ट्रीब्यूट सर इन फैक्ट वी हैव फाइनलाइज्ड द टेंडर जस्ट फाइनल अप्रूवल वी विल पुट इट अप टू आवर ईसीएन अप्रूवल एंड देन वी विल गिव द फिजिकल कॉपी फॉर ऑल द ट्रेन प्रोफेशनल सर व्हिच विल बी वेरी वैलिड बिकॉज़ इट डाउनलोडेड वर्जन में थोड़ा इनको कठिनाई आएंगे सर जैसे क्यूब्स है बुक्स है टेस्ट मैनुअल्स है उन सबको हार्ड कॉपीज एंड सेकंडली एक्चुअल टेस्ट कंडक्ट में भी उसको हार्ड बॉन्ड कॉपीज में होना चाहिए जिससे कि फ्लिप करें एक अपना जो थेरेपिस्ट है और जो टेस्ट टेकर है उनका अलग अलग होता है सर सो वी आर प्लानिंग फॉर द हार्ड कॉपीज आल्सो सो शॉर्टली विल स्टार्ट डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग आल्सो विद आवर रूल ऑफ रीसी सर यानी पूरी किट और कम से कम हिंदी में और जो मेन 6 सात लैंग्वेजेस में जिससे 90% yes, अपने कवर हो जाए लोग तो मतलब ये सब लैंग्वेजेस में जो आपने कैलेंडर टाइप वो किट दिखाया जिस पे क्वेश्चन पूछते हैं और ऐसी फॉर्म भी प्लस जो फिजिकल आइटम्स हैं इसमें हम पूरी किट अच्छे से बना के मतलब फ्री में दें ट्रेनिंग के साथ साथ की टीम के द्वारा लेकिन इसके साथ ही जो एसएलडी जो कि आज का मेरा टॉपिक है स्पेसिफिक लर्निंग विजिबिलिटी स्पेसिफिक लर्निंग विजिबिलिटी के साथ में एक बहुत बड़ा इशू आता है जैसा कि सर ने भी सेक्रेटरी सर ने भी सुबह में जैसा बताया है कि कुछ एज रेंज के बाद रिक्वायरमेंट होते हुए भी सर्टिफिकेट की जरूरत पूछी जाने के बावजूद हमारे पास जो कि टूल्स नहीं होते तो हम उसके लिए अपने आप को बहुत पीछे पाते कि हम नहीं सर्टिफिकेट नहीं दे पा रहे या हमको फैसिलिटी फैसिलिटीज नहीं दे पा रहे हैं जो कि हमको मिलनी चाहिए काफ़ी सारे ये चैलेंजेस को उन सभी बात को देखते हुए और खास करके ट्रेनिंग पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से अगर कोई भी अचीव कर कर सकता है अगर उसके अंदर लिमिटेशन है कुछ स्पेसिफिक लर्निंग से रिलेटेड लेकिन उसकी अचीवमेंट अगर उसकी वजह से पीछे हो रही है तो हमें उसको जानना उस समय भी जरूरी है जबकि उसकी नीड हो इसी इन्हीं बातों को पॉइंट पे ध्यान में रखते हुए नए टूल की लिपिट के द्वारा जो है वो कोशिश चल रही है उसके बारे में भी मैं बताऊंगी लेकिन जो सबसे बड़ा चैलेंज है कि क्यों इस तरीके से आ, हमें ज़रूरत है आ, एक बेसिक जो अभी शुरू में भी जो प्रेजेंटर्स ने प्रेजेंट किए हैं उसमें खास करके ये जो तीन हमारे जो एरियाज होते हैं लर्निंग डिजिलिटी के डिसलेक्सिया डिसग्रैफिया डिस्कैम्पिया इसके कारण बहुत सारे चैलेंजेस हैं जो कि हर एक को फेस करने पड़ते हैं जो कि इनसे पीड़ित हैं तो ऐसी कंडीशन में हम उनके अचीवमेंट को अगर नॉर्मल पैटर्न में जैसे कि किसी भी नॉर्मल पर्सन के आ, आ, किसी भी नॉर्मल बच्चे की अगर असमेंट वैल्यूएशन के रेंज में हम उसको रखते हुए देखते हैं तो उसकी ये डिफिकल्टी उस पर्टिकुलर एरिया में जो कि हमारा जो कन्वेंशनल मेथड है उसके आ, तो हम आ, उसकी लिमिटेशन को और ज़्यादा बढ़ा देते हैं और कहीं ना कहीं हम उसकी डिजेबिलिटी को बढ़ा देते हैं तो इन चीज़ों को ध्यान में रखते हुए हमें उसकी अचीवमेंट पे खास करके फोकस करने की ज़रूरत होती है जो कि हमारे लिए ज़्यादा ज़रूरत है कि हमारे इंडियन सेटअप में इंडियन कॉन्टेक्स्ट में जो कि टूल्स डेवलप किए जाएँ और 
अचीवमेंट को खास करके फोकस करते हुए ना कि डिजेबिलिटी को फोकस करते हुए तो कुछ एग्जांपल जो कि मैं आप लोगों के सामने स्लाइड प्लीज हमारे पुराने पहले से भी ये सारी चीजें जो कि हम सभी फेस कर रहे हैं देखे आते हैं अपने चारों तरफ लेकिन फेमस जो भी पर्सनैलिटीज हैं वो काफी सारे चैलेंजेस के बावजूद उन लोगों ने बहुत सारे इन्वेंशन किए हैं लेकिन अगर हम उस समय टूल्स और इस कैटेगरी क्राइटेरिया को अगर हम कुछ एक टेस्टिंग टूल के साथ में मेजर कर पाते तो शायद ये सारी चीजें क्लियर होती और सोसाइटी को जो और एक अंडरस्टैंडिंग होती और इनकी इन्वेंशन में और ज्यादा प्रमोशन और और ज्यादा हम देख पाते कि और कुछ अलग काम में दिखता तो चार्ल्स डार्विन हुए जिन्होंने ही अपनी एकेडमिक जो एक कन्वेंशनल मेथड है उससे अलग हट करके उन्होंने अपनी टेक्निक्स को कैसे अपनी एक्सप्लोर करने की जो एक उनकी खुद की स्किल है उसको कैसे वो नए फॉर्म में देखे नेक्स्ट थॉमस एल्वा एडिशन बहुत बड़े इन्वेंशन हम हम जानते हैं इनके बारे में इनकी बहुत सारी जो इन्वेंशन हैं लेकिन अगर एकेडमिकली देखा जाए तो ये भी वही यंग एज में स्कूल्स में जो आ रही प्रॉब्लम्स के चैलेंजेस थे उनको उन्होंने भी बहुत सीवियरली फेस किया है नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट स्लाइड प्लीज आज एक इंटर्न हुए नेक्स्ट स्लाइड प्लीज स्टीव जॉब्स जो कि अभी एप्पल के फाउंडर फाउंडर एक तरीके से कहा जाए तो ये सभी जो हमारे फेमस पर्सनैलिटी हैं जिन्होंने बहुत कुछ नेक्स्ट स्लाइड प्लीज बहुत सारी चीजें जो है वो उन्होंने अचीव किया है लेकिन काफी कुछ एक जो एक पैटर्न है हमारे लाइफ में जो आगे बढ़ने के लिए जो एक बने हुए जो कन्वेंशनल मेथड है जो कि चले आ रहे जो एक्सेप्टेड एक वे है उनको जो है वो हमें समझने की जरूरत है और उन्हें मौका देने की जरूरत है जिससे कि हम आगे बढ़ करके उनको एक प्लेटफॉर्म दे सके जिससे कि उनकी जो लिमिटेशन है वो लिमिटेशन जो है वो कहीं ना कहीं वो हाइट लिमिटेशन पे नहीं उनकी क्वालिटीज पे हम फोकस कर सके बस इन्हीं बातों को ध्यान में रखते हुए गैजेट के अंदर निभाएं सेसल्टी बैटरी है साथ में जो है वो हम देख रहे हैं कि गैजेट में जो ऐड किया गया है अभी ग्रेड लेवल एसेसमेंट डिवाइस जो कि निपेट कई डायमिक्स के द्वारा ही डेवलप किया गया टूल है जिसको कि बच्चों में आने वाले जो एकेडमिक लिमिटेशन है उनको कैसे वो हम समझ सके किस लेवल पे बच्चा उस हिसाब से उसको सपोर्ट कर सके और उसको फैसिलिटेट कर सके ये टूल काफी समय पहले डेवलप किया गया है लिपिड में लेकिन अभी जो रिसेंटली हमारी कोशिश यही है इंडियन टूल ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस इंटेलिजेंस टेस्ट का जो टूल डेवलप करने के बाद जो एक सबसे बड़ी हमें रिक्वायरमेंट दिखी कि एस के लिए हमारे पास बहुत सारे लिमिटेशन बहुत सारे चैलेंजेस आ रहे हैं कि हम नहीं दे पा रहे हैं प्रॉपर डायग्नोसिस या उनको फैसिलिटीज सो अचीवमेंट को बेस बनाते हुए अभी डेवलपमेंट ऑफ अकेडमिक अचीवमेंट टेस्ट फॉर स्पेसिफिक लर्निंग डिजेबिलिटी अभी का अगर कहा जाए तो ये निपेड हमारा ऑनगोइंग प्रोजेक्ट है जिसमें कि हमारे यहाँ इस पर काम हो रहा है नेक्स्ट इंडिया जैसा कि अभी बहुत ही हेट्रोजेनियस ग्रुप है स्पेसिफिक लर्निंग डिजिबिलिटी की जब हम बात करते हैं तो तो हमें यहाँ समझते हुए इनकी इनकी क्या लिमिटेशन है इनके अचीवमेंट में कहा उनकी लिमिटेशन के कारण उनका उन पर नेगेटिव इम्पैक्ट आ रहा है और वो किस एज किस एरिया में जो है वो अच्छी परफॉर्मेंस कर सकते हैं दे सकते हैं इन चीजों को एसेस करने के लिए इन इन बातों को सही समय पे बच्चों को वो या हमारी जो एडोलसेंट एज जो एडोलसेंट हैं इनको हम कैसे फैसिलिटेट कर सकें कैसे हम उनके अचीवमेंट को हम एक्नोलेज भी कर सके उन डिफरेंट एरियाज को हम सपोर्ट कर सके इसको मेजरली इस बात को ध्यान में रखते हुए ये टूल डेवलप करने की कोशिश मतलब प्रोसेस में है जो स्पेसिफिक ऑब्जेक्टिव है वो हमारे खास करके कहा जाए तो ये टूल ट्वेंटी इयर्स तक के बच्चों की एकेडमिक जो फंक्शनल एकेडमिक स्किल्स हैं उनको हम किस तरीके से चेक कर सके एसेस कर सके और उनको हम उनके एकेडमिक एरिया में कैसे सपोर्ट कर सके इन बातों को ध्यान में रख करके बनाया जा रहा है साथ में टू आइडेंटिफाई स्पेसिफिक लर्निंग डिजिबिलिटी इन चिल्ड्रन एस एल डी इन इंग्लिश हिंदी एंड मैथ्स और जनरल अवेयरनेस में जहाँ भी गैप्स आ रहे हैं उनको पता करने और उस हिसाब से उसका कैसे हम प्रैक्टिकल एरिया में जो है वो उनका उनके जो चैलेंजेस हैं हमारे जो जैसे कि अभी 
डॉक्टर किशन ने एक एग्जाम्पल दिया कि हम जू की जगह जो है वो फॉरेस्ट जो हमारे आसपास के जंगल हैं या फिर जो गूगल मैप है ये जो एक प्रैक्टिकल आज की डेट में एक मेथड यूज किए जा रहे हैं उनको ध्यान में रखते हुए हम इस पर काम कर रहे हैं इसमें जिससे कि बच्चों की जो स्पेसिफिक लर्निंग डिजेबिलिटी की वजह से उनके अंदर जो आ रहे हैं प्रॉब्लम्स हैं जो जो उनकी लिमिटेशन है वो हम कहीं दूर कर सकें नेक्स्ट स्लाइड प्लीज तो एक्सपेक्टेड आउटकम की बात अगर हम करते हैं तो यहाँ पर हमारा जो प्रोजेक्ट जैसा कि मैं बताई हूँ कि अभी ऑन गोइंग है इसमें हमारे प्रोजेक्ट में हमारा हमारी कोशिश यही होगी कि ये इस टूल की हेल्प से हम खास करके जो अंडर अचीवर है हालांकि वो आई क्यू वाइज जो कि टेस्ट में अगर कहा जाए तो एटी फाइव आई क्यू प्लस इंटेलिजेंस होते हुए भी उनकी परफॉर्मेंस कहीं ना कहीं हम देखते हैं कि वो क्लास में या स्कूल में या एकेडमिक स्किल्स में हर एरिया में वो गैप शो करते हैं और उनका ये गैप या ये डिफरेंस बच्चों में उनको सोशली इमोशनली कहीं ना कहीं आइसोलेट करती है सो so, उनकी इन लिमिटेशंस को जान पाना उनको समझ पाते समझते हुए उनको उनकी एकेडमिक अचीवमेंट में उनको सपोर्ट की जो रिक्वायरमेंट है चाहे वो लैंग्वेज से रिलेटेड हो रीडिंग राइटिंग या फिर कैलकुलेशन स्किल्स से रिलेटेड हो उसमें हम एक्स्ट्रा उन्हें सपोर्ट दे सके और उनको उनका प्लेटफॉर्म अचीव कर पाने में हेल्प कर सके तो जैसा कि अभी गैजेट में ग्लैड का जो अभी मैं जिक्र की उसमें खास करके जो बच्चे अपनी ग्रेड लेवल जो भी है उससे अगर अंडर फोर्टी परसेंट वो परफॉर्म कर रहे हैं तो उनको फैसिलिटीज मिलनी चाहिए अगर उनको राइटिंग से रिलेटेड किसी तरीके की परेशानी है तो उन्हें स्ट्राइव मिलना चाहिए इस तरीके से अगर स्कूल में पेरेंट्स को अगर ये अवेयरनेस होती है और स्कूल के टीचर्स का कॉम्पिटिशन मिलता है तो हम पूरी उम्मीद मतलब हमारी पूरी हम ये एक ऐसे स्पेसिफिक स्पेशल नीड या अगर कहें तो कहीं ना कहीं वो डिफरेंट नीड रखने वाले बच्चों को हम सपोर्ट कर सकते हैं और उनको आगे बढ़ने में मदद कर सकते हैं एक छोटा सा ये स्पेसिफिक लर्निंग डिजेबिलिटी अगर कहा जाए तो ये अपॉर्चुनिटी है टू सी डिफरेंटली टू एक्ट डिफरेंटली इस ऐसा इसलिए मैं कहना चाहूँगी क्योंकि स्किल होते हुए भी हमारा जो एक फिक्स पैटर्न है उस पैटर्न पे वो नहीं पास हो पाते लेकिन वो उसी बात मतलब उन्हीं चीज़ों को वो किसी डिफरेंट वे में करते हुए कुछ नया क्रिएट कर पाने की क्षमता रखते हैं बस स्पेसिफिक लर्निंग डिजेबिलिटी के साथ हमारे जितने भी बच्चे हैं या एडल्ट भी हैं इवन उनको अगर ये मौका मिले उनकी अचीवमेंट को समझा जाए तो वो जरूर कुछ अच्छा इन्वेंशन कर सकते हैं और हो सकता है कि फ्यूचर में बहुत सारे आइंस्टाइन या फिर न्यूटन और कई स्टीव जॉब्स जो हैं वो हमें देखने को मिले सो इसी उम्मीद के साथ थैंक यू सो मच सर थैंक यू सर प्रोजेक्ट अंडर स्कीम जो कि and as you can see there are four different kinds of kids kid 1 kid 2 kid 3 kid 4 uh, yes this is largely documentation based but i'm very really happy to announce that in the seven years that we've been distributing kids the impact on the families particularly has been very pronounced kyunki isse pehle hamesha school mein yogdan hota hai school mein ummeed kiya jata hai ki jitne bhi change aayenge school mein hoga but with id children it's very very important that a family has to be at least a 50% stakeholder in the entire process of disability adaptation Now, in other disabilities, you get hearing aids, you get other assistive devices, which uh, in increase the functionality of the child. But with ID children, this becomes very really restricted because they have nothing to go by except for training. So, these TLM kits have been put together, keeping in mind that certain efforts have to be made by the family at home. So, as you can see, there are four different kits with different age groups, and I'd also like to mention the age groups are not watertight age groups. For example, if I find a child of uh, age twelve who's Eligible for kid four, but his functionality is a little less than that. I can also go for kid three and for kid two. For the detailed um, description of the kids theory, there are some YouTube videos where we would not have time to go right now. But I expect expect the organizers to kindly kind of share the videos across the uh, WhatsApp groups that we have. Now, most of this uh, kids would these are this is just a, a, a slide that I've created to impart to the parents who are probably joined with us online. to understand what are the essential documents that are necessary 
At one time, personally, I was also a critic of why documentation is necessary for children with disabilities. But today, I understand it's extremely important so that we ensure, especially through UDID, that one child does not get a kit twice. For the same matter, the second kit is getting is actually deservable by another child who is probably not getting the kit. So documentation is extremely important for us. I'd also like to impart that this is not a tendency tendency So it's important for us to as a professionals to understand that if you use it as a teaching learning material, entire impact changes completely. So it's important for you as a profession to learn, for example, if I'm, if I'm trying to train him on this, I know you can stack it. It's obvious that you can stack it. But can you also stack it in the opposite direction? Can you also identify the colors? Can you identify other objects in the room which are of the same color? This is how you use a teaching learning material, which is presumably a toy. And this is the impact that we're trying to see. Uh, next, please. The two main kits that I'd like to focus on, and that is what I've been able to bring today because of paucity of time, is one is kit one and one is kit four. And I'll be explaining that shortly. Essentially, these are the benefits of using the kits. And this is not just a slide. We have seen the benefits because we've been working with parents across a long time period. So interestingly, now they know that next kab mujhe kit milna hai, kab mujhe approach karna hai, and that is very, very positive. What is even more positive is not only the whole family is impacted, other families are also impacted when they tell them, no, see, this is what you can get. You get your documents, go and approach these people, and so on and so forth. So definitely there have been a lot of improvement in self-help skills, in free academic skills, in functional reading. And the, the key word here is functional. It's not important to write ABC, but it's important to be able to write and recognize your name. It's not enough to write one, two, three, but it's important to be able to tell your phone number or write your phone number in the case of emergency. This is what we mean by functional. Next please. And it's also interesting, uh, I should mention that this is not restricted to English language alone. Of course, I'm giving the presentation in English language. But we have almost 13 or 14 languages in which the translation of the material has taken place. So the material in the uh, bags that we have are also in vernacular languages like Hindi, Tamil, Oriya, uh, Kannad, and so on and so forth. Even some languages in, in like Khasi, we have translation in Khasi as well. Next, please. Uh, these are the examples of some of the material that we have in Kit 1, which is, like I said, it's basically sensory development, early intervention. Uh, next. And this is the uh, some of the items that we have in Kit 3, which are essentially uh, functional academics and a little bit of um, ADL as well. Next. And Kit 4 particularly is very interesting to mention because there are two functionalities which are taken up in Kit 4. One is the uh, independent living and one is the free vocational skills, which is an extremely crucial area. And the normal tendency is you can use or try to train him in performing the daily activities which are necessary for an adult. At one time you are actually going to be an adult, you'll be expected to perform some independent tasks like cooking, basically cooking, measuring and stuff of that kind. So that is the idea behind it. These are some of the things that I was mentioning. Again, I request the organizers to please uh, read this list, particularly the last link which is a link which leads you to the Arjun portal, which is the way that we register the uh, beneficiaries. And you also you can get very useful information on the guidelines, on the kinds of appliances that are uh, available. Thank you. If there are any questions, I think all of our team will be happy to take up those questions here. Uh, like uh, the battery that exists right now for specific learning disability, it's for people to 20 years of age, right? And having said that, uh, the fact is that it was recognized in 2016. So people like me who are in their 30s right now and who have specific learning disability, if I want my UD ID card and I go ahead with this diagnosis, it will say that I just have a learning difficulty and not a disability. So are we working towards creating a battery which is efficient and effective for adults with dyslexia? Uh, yes, actually, this is the first step, and gradually, definitely, we will get to your Thank you. Uh, it's not applicable or not applicable. So, uh, so to put the records uh, straight and correct, uh, right now, NIMHAS battery is being used to diagnose the SLD, and the NIMHAS battery is applicable up to the age group of 18. So, what has been, what had been going on till now, is that. Uh, uh, those who were above 18, they were getting deprived because the mass battery was not applicable to them. And there were certain cases 
because uh, of the recent change in the uh, policy and the paradigm shift in the stance of uh, this department is in guidelines. Few changes have been made. Number one, we have acknowledged the fact that right now whatever tools are available for diagnosis of SLD, those tools are applicable. Uh, I mean, those tools, those tools were developed only for the persons of age group up to 18. That's a, that's a hard fact. That's a hard fact. Okay. So the, what the changes have been made in such a manner that till we are able to develop such tools which are applicable to those age groups also which are beyond 18. Till that happens, and when I'm saying till that happens, DEPIT has already started functioning in that direction. But till that happens, even if a person is above that threshold age of 18, even he or she will not be deprived of any chance of being diagnosed with SLD. The current tool, whatever we are having, that will be applicable to him or her also and he, will, he or she will be diagnosed. But that, does, that is not stopping us from developing a tool which is uh, which uh, has an inbuilt strength of diagnosing 18 plus persons also. So that way nobody is getting deprived right now. Right? Thank you, sir, for putting in more light on SLD. IDC School of Design at the Indian Institute of Technology, Bombay, with support from UNICEF, Ministry of Education, Nair Hospital, and with the several NGOs working in the field of persons with disability. Jello Basic AAC Communicator is a freely downloadable solution that uses icons to add to aid communication in children learning to speak or with difficulty with speech and language. Jello Basic helps non-verbal children to communicate and gradually learn to speak, especially those with autism, cerebral palsy, and Down syndrome. Professor Ravi Puvaya is an Emeritus Fellow and a Senior Faculty Member at IDC School of Design, IIT Bombay. He is the founder of Jello Labs and has been involved in different projects like AAC application that helps those with speech difficulties, e kalpa to build an open source digital learning environment for design and implementation of design thinking and innovation in school curriculum in India. I invite Mr. Ravi Bhuvaya to speak. Amazing team as well as the very patient, you know, audience who, who's now, I think, almost into lunchtime, right? Yeah, so I'm going to present uh, Cello Communicator. Uh, for what we've been doing at... Uh, uh, basically, IDC School of Design at IIT Bombay. So, uh, I would like to cover the following four things, uh, an introduction to our topic, uh, as well as its uh, design journey, its unique features, uh, its interface, and how easy to set it up, and the road ahead. Okay, so this is the problem space in which we work. Okay, so uh, Jello is one of them. Uh, many of our students as well as the researchers work in this area. Jello, for example, is uh, is uh, is an uh, issue that we looked at from from point of view of speech and uh, being able to uh, construct a language through that. Okay, and the difficulty with that and how visually it can actually solve that problem. So to go back to the basics, uh, uh, second. Yeah, so it's an aid for, for children with speech impairments and it's like going really back into the primordial uh, stage where we actually used images and, uh, you know, symbols to communicate, uh, uh, which is the precursor of the written language. And this goes back to that for children who have a lot of difficulty with uh, speech. Uh, so it's it uh, if you look at the... Uh, spectrum with uh, children with autism, cerebral palsy, Down syndrome, and injury. And uh, we are specifically talking about Jello Basic Communicator, which is meant for children from three to nine years of age. So, what was the problem? You know, there are other AAC devices available, but when we actually looked at them, 
Uh, first was mostly they were adult ones which were made suitable for children. Okay, it was not uh, designed from children specifically uh, from the point of view of them. Uh, it needed to be extremely simple, easy and intuitive to use. Okay, and also it didn't have anything to do with our own culture. It means that our food, festivals, places, and of course, you know, India is full of languages. Uh, it had to be accessible in their mother tongue, which is very, very important uh, aspect of this. So what we thought, you know, after a lot of study and research was a solution that has both low and, and high tech solutions. Okay, so uh, this was very important in the context of a country because we needed it to be inclusive. Uh, also, it needed flexibility in the sense that, you know, it should be available on all kind of platforms. So iOS, Android, as well as on the desktop. And uh, it has a whole set of variations that uh, fits into the puzzle. And we also were very sure that we wanted it to make it free to use so that uh, it, it becomes inclusive to a lot of people. Uh, we started very long time back, 2004, when we thought of it as a physical device. Uh, 2008, imported it to a browser, did user testing and found it to be extremely useful. And in 2016, we actually launched it uh, on, uh, on tablet as well as on the desktop, as well as on the mobile platforms. And 2020, we launched the plus version, which is the adult version. Uh, uh, that is when the children you know, get used to making their own language, then this becomes useful. So uh, this is done with a lot of research, very iteratively, we've taken lots of efforts, uh, almost hundreds of workshops to get feedbacks. So of course, uh, children, we got feedback from them. So each and every icon was designed such that it is likable and recognizable by children. Uh, it is also, uh, we got feedback from parents, teachers and therapists for part of our workshops and focus group sessions. Uh, we also did longitudinal studies, six months long studies, one at Nyad Hospital and one at the University of Connecticut in the US. Uh, this was with autistic children and we saw that uh, it has a you know, uh, very good improvement potential uh, with the use of Jello and the children became more confident and they were able to also communicate much more than they were able to do before. And this has been published as a paper now. Okay, so if you look at the whole family uh, of Jello Basic, uh, you can download it as flashcards or as an ebook uh, flashcards so you can stick it around your you know, in the kitchen or in the toilets or in the bedrooms. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. You can get it on the desktop, mobiles and tablets. And also you can connect it to external devices if the child has motor difficulties. And also the best part is that if you want to change the language, uh, you want to put your own words, your own images, the channel can be customized. So it's an extremely simple interface. Uh, Jello is uh, made for children who are just about to learn. So it makes use of pre-made sentences. Uh, it's not sentences which the child constructs, but the equipment actually constructs it for them. So for example, if you touch the learn button, it says learn. If you press the like button, it says I like to learn. Uh, if you press the yes button, it says I want to learn. If you press the plus button, it says I want to learn some more. The negatives are on the other side. I don't like to learn, I don't want to learn, I don't want to learn anymore. It's extremely simple. We call this as the emotional language protocol, it makes it extremely simple. In the center are the category buttons. So if I go ahead, this is how it looks on a tablet. Tablet is the ideal device to do it, but in India, I think mobiles are much more popular than and affordable than tablets. So a lot of people are using mobiles to access this. So you have these nine categories. So within these nine categories, we have about 1,200 uh, images or icons. And with a combination of the expressive buttons on the side, you can actually construct 12,000 sentences. Okay, that is more than sufficient to do normal conversation or communicate uh, what the child needs. So this is the early part of it. Uh, they get used to it. And because they can repeat it again and again, uh, you know, it, it's something that they start learning the language itself. 
Uh, we have also uh, things like this fish, if they press it five times, the fish comes, if they press it 10 times, something else comes. So these are just incentives for the child to do it. This is how it looks on a mobile, uh, on a Hindi language, if you choose this. Uh, okay, so let me go into some of the unique features. First of all, it's designed from child's point of view. It's an extremely easy interface to use. Uh, and it's child-friendly icons, okay, so that is very, very important. Uh, it's also culture-specific in the sense that you can get your own food. Uh, for example, if you press, you know, select Malayalam, it would actually take out breakfast items from uh, that particular region and, uh, you know, that would be your breakfast choice, okay? And it's driven by this expression buttons on the side. And uh, you have access to multiple languages. So again, we are, we are asking the department to help us increase this number. Right now, we have nine Indian languages and uh, English, of course, that's the 10th language. And we have French, German and Spanish. The Indian languages are Bengali, Gujarati, Hindi, Kannada, Malayalam, Marathi, Punjabi, Telugu and Tamil. Uh, we, are, we are going ahead with this. Uh, the reason uh, we uh, we are slow on the languages is that uh, that we are actually translating the language to be child friendly. Uh, that's something the machine is not too good at doing at this point of time, you know. So that's the main reason. So it's actually physically translated by an expert, you know, in a language which the child can uh, understand. Uh, you can customize uh, Jello. That means you can put your own icons. You can put your own uh, words into it. Uh, you can also put your own voice into it. Yeah, and it's accessible in the sense that you can connect it to external switches. Okay, so a couple of stories to uh, demonstrate, uh, you know, the usefulness of Jello. Uh, this is Kavita here. She had a lot of difficulty in trying to use the toilet. It was quite a long period and uh, her uh, you know, mother came and attended one of the Jello workshops. She downloaded the Jello. Basically, the ID kids and uh, who are unable to communicate what they want. So, in National Trust with parents uh, associations, we do run some self advocacy programs. This may be easy to tell you that you have to tell me 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 that you have to tell so these basic things, I guess the basic evolvement of uh, application evolved from that. Um, and how do we use it in our self-advocacy programs? That's one. So I will request National Trust and Parent Associations to work on that. Second, sure. all our SADIC centers in NIs and CRCs, they should try out this uh, app. This is very good. And uh, tell them, tell the parents about this. Third is that... Um, Ministry is associating with you to expand from 14 to 30 plus Indian languages. So if you want yes, to sir. add a few foreign languages also, we are game for it. And uh, because now India is actually giving a lot of free things to the world, free vaccination or bonds. Yeah, sure, why, not, sure. uh, why not free Jello or our Indian IQ test and so on. And finally, there is massive shortage of ABT therapies in the country. So that's a new usage for Jello. And uh, there is a group of children and uh, students in IIT Delhi who is working on this also. Uh, when, sure. we, when we do cochlear implants, and I have right. met a lot of children at the age of 10 or 15 who actually don't need cochlear implants but who just need hearing aids. They never got hearing aids in their life. So after giving hearing aids, they need actually solid ABT therapy because they haven't uh, learned how to hear and so they can't really speak out well also. Right, right. So, how does a variant of Jello really work on the ABT part? Uh, so that that's a good area. area. That's definitely a very nice area to work. That's actually quite a big area. Actually, probably bigger yeah. than the ID area. Okay. So I think these are the areas we can uh, collaborate together on. Ajinta, you want to speak? And my colleague here, who's also a founder. Co-founder, sir. Uh, Ajinta Sen. I wanted to uh, follow up on the second 
uh, point that you made, uh, which is the global outreach. Uh, we have been very uh, steadfast in it because we feel that the global south outreach is important because spontaneously there were folks from Caribbeans, uh, Southeast Asia, etc. that came in. And right, right at the outset, we thought it refers to Hindi, Tamil and Bangla. It means we already incorporate Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Nepal and even Pakistan into our fold. So, so in any way you feel you have diaspora and other global south programs where we can fit in in a very um, uh, uh, proactive way, please let us know so, so we can do special workshops with them. Yeah, definitely. Let's work on these areas. Thank you. For persons with intellectual disabilities. My name is Dadej. Uh, I work in the department. And to give a short, vi short visual description of for uh, the persons with visual impairment, I'm wearing a white shirt and uh, specs and uh, with a medium height of 5.10 yes um, so we don't we have almost five uh, presentations uh, and we are expecting to finish it by almost uh, 5 30 pm so i know the lunch is very uh, tasty but uh, we can stay focused and understand the innovations and products that are by various organizations to welcome the first organization that is Nay Disha. We see that technology def definitely plays a crucial role. But with respect to the mandate of the department in to empower persons with disabilities, Nay Disha is, has been utilizing technology in various ways. The organization has taken digital steps towards empowerment of children with autism, Down syndrome and other developmental disabilities. Their lifelong support system for parents, families who are the primary caregivers for children affected by Down syndrome and other developmental disabilities through a digital knowledge hub and a community as well as an accessible helpline. It draws families into an ecosystem and makes comprehensive and credible information for families. Prachit Deo is the founder and executive director of Naidisha. And her brother was the who has Down syndrome is her inspiration behind founding the organization. She has won Salzburg Global Fellow and Indian Inclusion Fellow Award, as well as the prestigious Zero Project Award. Anku Singh is a developmental professional working with Nayadisha as a social media specialist, and we have both of them to present the work that they are doing through their. Uh, helpline as well as the resources are utilizing the technology for persons with intellectual disabilities. So I request Ankur sir and Prachi ma'am to share their presentation and please begin with your PPT. Thank you. A very inspiring step and uh, I think we will take because of the paucity of time uh, we will take the question and answers on chat box and if the audience has any they can write to us and uh, eventually we will uh, coordinate with the uh, organizational founders and get back to you the responses. Um, sir, any comments, sir, please? So basically you have a <coughs> automated chatbot, plus you have a proper helpline, uh, plus you organize a uh, lot of training sessions and the whole thing of connecting to the right parent groups in that particular district or within that language speaking community and uh, that's very important uh, just for everyone's knowledge here we are revamping our Sugamya app uh, to become a one-stop solution for uh, uh, all persons and uh, in that we have uh, involved the community in a big way so mission mobility and iSTEM guys they are writing the rewriting the entire code for us and the organization vision divyan they have compiled the database of uh, all schemes of government of India and various state governments and uh, would like to collaborate with many organizations as you have directory bhi hai. so the idea in Sugamya is that we UDID number to pata hi hai. so the system knows a lot about the person kya age hai, kya sex hai, kya disability hai, kahan rehte hai. so that basic info is there and asking one two more questions ki aap, uh, and 
सिस्टम आज क्वेश्चन तो नहीं रेलिवेंटली पांच साल के बच्चे को नहीं पूछे या साठ साल वाले को नहीं पूछेगा कौन सी क्लास में पढ़ते हो या क्या करना चाहते हो कोई स्किल गेन करना चाहते हो देन द सिस्टम ऑटोमेटिकली शुड फाइंड आउट कि यदि लड़की ग्यारहवीं में पढ़ती है ब्लाइंड है तो इसको ये चार स्कीमें एप्लीकेबल है भारत सरकार की ये तो स्कीम है स्टेट गवर्नमेंट की तो सिस्टम उसको वही छह स्कीमें उसकी स्क्रीन पे बता देगा सभी नहीं बताएगा और ऐसे हमें जिला पता है डिसेबिलिटी पता है हम उसको स्क्रीन पे फ्लैश करेंगे वहीं के पेरेंट ग्रुप्स और कुछ और तो इसमें वी लाइक टू कोलेबोरेट विद मेनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस लाइक यू आल्सो हम कह देंगे कि ये दिस इज एज पर नई दिशा डायरेक्टरी या दिस स्कीम ऑफ कंपाइलेशन दिस फिल्ट्रेशन स्कीम ऑफ स्कीम्स इन फिल्टरिंग दिस डन थ्रू अ डेटाबेस कलेक्टेड बाय विजन दिव्या सो विल बी बेसिकली एक्नॉलेज दोस ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस आल्सो व्हिच आर प्रोवाइडिंग दिस सर्विस कि हमारी इतनी गवर्नमेंट स्केल अप कर सकती है चीजों को पर ये चीजें तो अच्छे हैं कि कम्युनिटी से ही आए कि प्रॉपर फिल्टर डायरेक्टरी आए और चीजें हैं वो कम्युनिटी से आती रहे ये लेटेस्ट पेरेंट ग्रुप्स हैं ये उनके लेटेस्ट नंबर हैं ये उनका ये मेन कोऑर्डिनेटर है डाउन सिंड्रोम के लिए यहाँ पे ये है इसके लिए ये वाली ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है तो देट बी वेरी हेल्पफुल टू द पर्सन तो उसको इधर उधर भटकना नहीं पड़ेगा सारी चीजें एप्लीकेबल स्कीम्स इस तरह के और थोड़े बहुत चैट बॉर्ड्स और ऐसी स्पेशल स्कूल आपके जिले में कौन से हैं आपकी डिसेबिलिटी के लिए तो ये हम चाहते हैं कि एक फिल्टर होके बड़ा रेलेवेंट इंफॉर्मेशन हर बंदे को वहाँ पे दिखे तो वी लव टू वर्क विद ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस लाइक यू ऑन बेसिकली एडिंग दिस टू अवर दैट एप आल्सो एंड टुडे इज बिकॉज़ आई हैव ऑल द एलआईज एंड द सीआरसीज प्रेजेंट इन दिस फिजिकली और वर्चुअली so whatever you are saying is reaching the entire country and our entire system so i am sure many of them will in their interactions parents and others they will say mehndi shaadi hai ye bhi hai jis ke sath bhi purple talks mein interaction ho raha hai so i am sure this will help you in scaling up my best wishes bilkul bilkul aur hum usi jagah pe crc se bhi parents ko connect karna chahenge yahan pe crc hai crc jahan jahan par 76 pur mein hai jahan jahan hai hum connect karna chahenge parents ko और काइंड ऑफ अ पार्ट ऑफ इट इज लर्निंग डिसेबिलिटी एंड इन दैट कॉन्टेक्स्ट वी हैव चेंज इंक फाउंडेशन विथ अस हु इज बीन रेजिंग अवेयरनेस अराउंड डिसलेक्सिया एंड ब्रेकिंग द स्टिग्मा सराउंडिंग स्पेसिफिक लर्निंग डिसेबिलिटीज वर्किंग एट द इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ गवर्नमेंट एजुकेशन एंड टेक्नोलॉजी टू एम्पावर पर्सन विद लर्निंग डिसेबिलिटीज चेंज इंक फाउंडेशन Changing Foundation co-founded uh, the specific learning disability toolkit with Nerd Tools Foundation, which was established in 2018 by Dr. Nandini Singh, who is a renowned neuroscientist and uh, pioneers in educational neuroscience research. The there are various notable achievements of the Changing Foundation. The most flagship one is. Uh, around developing a specific learning disability toolkit which is tailored to assess dyslexic dyscalculia who have problems in understanding mathematical calculus subjects and dysgraphia and the there is a specific tool called the CLASS class tool which is a screening tool co developed by both changing and nerd tools foundation and it is one of the latest advancement in neurosciences the major aspect to this tool of screening is that it goes on an age appropriate evaluation and as it is usually said in this uh, field of disabilities that to focus on the abilities and identify the skills in children rather than uh, identifying the disabilities and sticking to any specific curriculum they are transcending these notions and trying to identify uh, things that are empowering pwds over to you ma'am make available culturally relevant validated tools uh, in india and uh, this was an attempt to try and do that the world wide prevalence of differences in learning is as high as 15% which essentially means there are some people who learn differently in this classroom or in this auditorium 
as we sit. So the numbers are that high. Uh, it is expected that the, thank you so much. My power has primarily been in the laboratory for about 15 years. I used functional imaging and structural imaging to look inside the brain. So one of the things we know is that each brain is wired differently. And as a consequence, there are differences in the way cognitive skills develop. They are a combination of genetics, experience, and the environment. And so there is also a very strong correlation with differences in learning, in specific learning disabilities and genetics. It often runs in families. There are differences in the way the brain is connected. As a consequence, there are also differences in the way the brain functions or activity happens uh, in the brain. So the, there are typically four kinds of specific learning disabilities that I've talked about. We will focus on really today dyslexia, which is inability to develop age appropriate reading skills despite opportunity and instruction. Okay? That's for dyslexia. And the second is dyscalculia, which I will focus on, which is inability to acquire age appropriate math skills again, despite opportunity and instruction. Okay. It's really differences in brain wiring, is how the brain connects, is what is now believed to be the reason behind why people might not be developing the skills in the same ways. So my work at the National Brain Research Center focused on trying to understand how does the brain learn to read. Okay. And so we actually brought in children from uh, a neighboring school. These were about kids between the ages of 8 and 10 to see how they learn to read different language systems. And so one superpower because of which learning happens is neuroplasticity, which means the brain can change based on learning. That's the only basis on which any kind of learning happens. So the brain is malleable. Okay? And that's the basis of all remediation because of which you actually see change. Now, recognizing that children are getting this instruction in the classroom, you can actually begin to study what the circuits in the brain look like, which is what you see on the right. Okay. So a child is put in, a function, in an MRI scanner, they are presented words which they have to read. And because in the Indian system we learn at least two writing systems, so we are biliterates if not multiliterates, we wanted to see what were the pathways that are engaged by the brain when you learn to read. So I won't get into details for lack of time, but you can see that the pathways are very similar between English and Hindi. So there's, a, there's an example of a word called chair on top and hawa at the bottom. And there are a combination of about 40 words each that they read. Now, if you actually go back and see, uh, there are both regions of the brain, that, both hemispheres of the brain that are involved. And you can actually decode and find what are the processes that each of these areas does, which was responsible for reading networks to happen. And from there, we were able to see that in addition to comprehension and vocabulary, there is something called sound awareness, which is critical, print awareness that is critical, and working memory that is critical for being able to learn to read. And maybe at the end of today, when you have a moment to think about it, you will see all of these are something that you have already used and you use your working memory every day when you receive an OTP as you go from one app to another. There's really a working memory in play. Okay. So therefore, the development of uh, literacy as a cognitive domain really goes across multiple domains where you need oral language, sound awareness, word knowledge, and comprehension. I just want you to have a look at this slide because these are the processes that we are going to need to assess in order to know what might be impacted when a child is learning to read? Okay. Now let's go to number sense, okay? where again you see that neuroplasticity is at play, but now a different set of brain areas is involved. Okay? There's an area over here, a region here called the parietal lobe, okay? which plays a role in number processing. There's clearly visual coming over here, and and there are. It's interesting for you to know that the human brain is actually wired to know some differences between um, more and less. Just like in the context of reading, we know that um, language can be picked up 
just by being with people, but in order to learn to read, you actually have to teach a child. So when we looked at the processes involved in number processing, you not only require magnitude estimation, you require symbol awareness. How does each of these become five? So that's symbol identification. Then you need arithmetic operations and you need visual working memory also. So what I'm trying to highlight is that the development and acquisition of each cognitive process of ability requires a number of processes. And in order to be able to achieve that ability, all of these processes have to be in place. Okay? And that's why it's important to understand what those processes are. Finally, coming to working memory, which seems to be a scaffold across all of this, it's like a, an in-between scratch pad, you know? So you don't remember your OTP for the next 45 minutes. It was there for a minute, you use it and it's gone. Okay? Similar to like writing down a phone number. But you need that information for that small period of time as you are reading. So the working memory circuit actually runs across the brain and provides a scaffold for all of cognitive learning. Okay? And so you need the ability to recall sound sequences and recall visual patterns. Again, breaking it down to the processes that we need. Okay? So re realizing what these number of processes are, and because of the advances that we have now in technology, where a lot of this can actually be done in a fun way, we wanted to develop a tool that can enable uh, teachers as well as um, people in the field to try and quantify progress in terms of cognitive skills. Okay? Uh, I'm afraid as a society, we've been quite obsessed with exam performance. But exam performance will result only when cognitive skills are in place. Okay? So our focus was literacy and numeracy. And uh, when we reviewed a number of the existing tools that were already there, we found many of them were survey-based, they were either curriculum specific. Um, many of them had been just taken from the West, so they were not really adapted to Indian settings. Many of them were monolingual, and as a society, we are just not monolingual, we are multilingual. And they lacked a neuroscience basis in terms of the processes involved. Uh, I played a role in the earlier part of it to develop something called DALI, which is a dyslexia assessment for languages of India, which we released in 2015. Um, Dr. Harshwaldan was uh, the Minister of Science and Technology then. And that was a paper-based tool that was valid and still is valid for kids typically between the ages of uh, 5 to 10. It has tools for teachers and it has a detailed assessment battery, which takes close to about two hours to complete. That's available right now in English, Hindi, Marathi, and Kannada. But when, I when we did that, even after we finished developing that, we realized that survey-based tools really give you a teacher's perception of what they think is happening. And the reality on the ground might be quite different. And so we wanted to go ahead and use technology to develop something which was quick, easy to implement, and could provide a parent or a teacher a tool to attempt remediation right away into the classroom. Okay? And that's how we came up with class. So class runs from uh, grades one to 12. It's curriculum agnostic because it looks at cognitive skills. It's unbiased towards socioeconomic class, scalable across languages. It can be administered by teachers, parents, healthcare workers. It's available both as in a web format or a mobile format and is very adaptable to group testing. It's right now available in English and Hindi. So um, these are some more aspects that are laid out. It's technology enabled. And one of the things that we found most useful has been that a report for class is generated instantly because of the fact that it's online and all the processing happens right away. Okay. So these are the domains that we've gone through. These are the same domains that I've talked about earlier. So there are four broad domains. Within each of these broad domains, broad domains, there are distinct subdomains, each of which are analyzed, and whether it's literacy or with numeracy. So you can see it's a very comprehensive assessment of different cognitive skills for a child. Uh, this is a link, and I will try and hope that this demo works. So there's a free demo that's available online. You can go back and try it. Yeah. 
actually. But I've also put a video so that in case it doesn't go online, you can just try it out. Yeah. So you can play an audio. Do these words have matching endings? So Line. So you can click on a correct answer. Okay. Then you can have a, you have another task. Do these words begin with the same sound? Chin, chok. So I'm going to put in a wrong answer, even though they start with the same. So the idea is that you can give the stimulus in a visual mode, or you can give it in an auditory mode. Okay. So you run this through, and I for. In order to make sure that I don't step over my time, I'm going to go over this quickly. And uh, But you'll hopefully get a feel for the different kinds of skills that I tested. Three. So, Triangle. Listen carefully. Try to remember the words in the correct order. Orange, banana, apple. So this must be a test for auditory working magic. Orange, banana, apple. Which one should I click? Nobody paying attention? Ah, nice. Yes. Listen to audios A and B. If A and B are the same, click on the tick mark. Else, click on the cross mark. Which box has more dots? Which box has less dots? So you get a, a quick report. This is just the demo version. So the, the other version takes a little longer. It goes up to about 25 minutes. But that's the, uh, the short uh, response that a parent or a teacher might get, following which they can actually go and do the entire tool. Can I come back to the present? I'll, I'll go over and I don't worry. So that's the report that you get that's generated out of class once you do the entire screening tool and it's quite comprehensive. If a child is below the standard score in more than three domains, then we advocate a detailed assessment because the child might be at risk. What we are finding very interesting is you are also able to identify kids who might not have a learning disability but might have weaknesses in some domains. So the next question clearly comes is what can you do with class? So there are three ways that this is being used. I'll only talk about one aspect. So one is to benchmark grade level skills. So if you run this entire tool in a classroom, you get an idea about how the classroom is structured and how many of the kids are actually able to do these cognitive skills at a particular age. Okay? And, and this is very important in a context of like India where uh, learning settings vary tremendously across rural and urban areas. Okay? So you don't want to end up diagnosing a child with learning disability just because he or she might not be getting uh, enough in instruction and that child is not really not, a, not to blame. Okay? So it's very important to benchmark the classroom and to assess the child in the context of that classroom. The second is to address individual learning needs by identifying what are the needs of a specific child 
you can try and work on improving the strengths of that child. So even if a child who might not be doing very well in the classroom, but you want to boost him or her up, you can identify what that problem area is, maybe improving visual working memory helps, and that child starts achieving their full potential. Okay? And the third is an early screen for specific learning disability, which is what I will talk about. So here is where we've been working extensively with, with changing. And the flowchart is sort of lays out the process that we follow right now. Okay? So in a classroom, and this de depending on the school, uh, they adopt different modalities. So they might decide to do it for the entire classroom or for specific kids who might not be performing well academically. So the teacher says that the child is not performing academically and then you administer class. And then based on the score on the class, you can tell whether the child actually has a learning gap or might be at risk for learning disability. Okay. So in general, what we find in a classroom is this is what the distribution of a typical classroom in looks like, whether it's in India or in fact, any part of the world. The extreme right, which is the, the good learners, are kids who are doing well in class, in their grades, as well as on the class test. On the extreme left, the, the quadrant on the left, are children who are doing poorly on both. And they are at risk for learning disability. Okay. So they need immediate uh, remediation to see, to see how they begin to respond to that remediation. But you also have two other groups of kids whom you're able to identify. One is a bunch of kids who have a learning gap uh, for some reason. So they're doing well on, on class, but they're not doing well with the academic content. Maybe uh, their, pair, their father was transferred, or uh, maybe they have had attention issues, or the level at which they came from from the previous school uh, was at a different level and they were having trouble adapting to what's happening. And then there are a bunch of kids who at younger ages use a lot of rote memorization. So they know what to provide in academic content, but in terms of the cognitive ability, they are lacking. So they're doing well in the classroom, but they don't do well on these class course. Okay. So you're actually able to identify all four sets of uh, children and provide uh, intervention as per their requirement. Okay. So here is an example of what, uh, what you see when you implement a class in say a grade 11. And this was done with changing and there are two young ladies sitting here who have been responsible for collecting uh, that data. So that's how a classroom looks like uh, in India. So that was the 70% the was the average score that the class, that the grade got. And so based on that, you decided whether the child had a specific learning disability or not. If you're doing this in a rural school, maybe the average literacy score might be 50%. And so you might find and report learning dis uh, specific learning disability with respect to that. Okay. So this is a crucial point because the way in which instruction is imparted uh, in India has a lot of variability. And we often stand the danger of misdiagnosing children. Okay. Um, this is how you could, that same data that I showed you earlier can be looked upon as um, uh, in a pie chart. It also begins to give us a little idea of what might be the incidence of SLD that we've been looking for. These are very small numbers. I would not want you to absolutely go by them, but they already provide us some warning on some of the, of how urgent it is that we start looking at the needs of children. So with, um, with changing, we have gone into uh, Bihar, Nagaland, Jharkhand, and more recently in the UN Daman, where we've been uh, implementing these uh, tools and then following up with uh, a workshop for the school. Most schools have actually adopted to do this across the classroom. And so they've been able to take some of these interventions even classroom-wide. So for instance, one of the things we found a lot is the need to improve working memory. We don't focus on that enough uh, in Indian classrooms. And so teachers have begun to report uh, some improvements out there begun to focus on that. So I'll, uh, uh, I just want to end with saying that one of the things that has emerged um, is, has been the ease of implementation. So because it's a simple, not very fancy tool, it has worked on in low bandwidth settings with 
fairly simple uh, mobile phones we've been able to implement this. We generate also a school level report which combines together uh, the information that you get across classrooms so that we are able to, um, uh, to suggest interventions to the school as a whole, you know, for example, to maybe improve vocabulary, to improve just language skills as you go along and so forth. So please take a screenshot in case you'd like to try a demo for yourself and I'll stop. Thank you very much. So this is in Hindi, that's in English. Okay, thank you very much for your time. Uh, good note and sir, if any of you wish. Yeah, I guess it was a very interesting session and uh, there are a lot of things we can do together and uh, really very beautiful presentation. And, uh, just one anecdote, one of my colleagues in IAS, she retired last year and uh, as a graduate of Government of India. <laughs> Uh, in another ministry, not in another ministry. So she told me that she said 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 so, this calculator, etc., take many, many forms. Many forms. Yes. So, uh, zero nasty thi, baki se thi. <laughs> uh, I was also thinking uh, with respect to the in government of India's Nippon mission and the focus on foundation learning, I think even Ministry of Education will also be very much interested to see this. So, <laughs> uh, I can say in a style of Shakespeare that I bore to thee. <laughs> okay. uh, number two, uh, it was for the first time for me to come across uh, the manner in which the most of the lobes in the brain and it was not it was not all a theoretical approach. You were made you, you made us uh, convinced, you were able to convince us and uh, I, I was actually forced, happily forced to believe that you, whatever can be seen uh, through some state of art technologies like MRI or brain scan. They can they can be very well correlated with the uh, diagnostic tools which are easily practicable in the classroom. And, uh, uh, and thirdly, uh, uh, I, I, I mean you were able to strike a personal chord with me when you uh, told that uh, it is the uh, manner in which uh, the learning was imparted or the uh, deliverables were delivered to the students from the at the end of the teachers, which matters a lot because it has happened with me. It happened to my father also. Uh, in both the cases, it happened because of frequent change of schools. At, at, in one of the schools, we were always the toppers. And suddenly, abruptly, we got transferred from one school to another, and we found ourselves among the backbenchers. Again, we had to work hard to be amongst the toppers. So that was a point which was able to strike a person for with me. Thank you so much. Beautiful presentation. A very prestigious organization in working in this uh, field of uh, intellectual disabilities is Amar Seva Sangam. Amar Seva Sangam is specializes in developing rehabilitation and empowerment models for people with disabilities. It has been providing services to over 20,000 individuals and one of the niche aspect is that they work mostly in rural India and particularly in the state of Tamil Nadu. Mr. Shankar Raman, the promoter, co-chairman and secretary of this organization has been the leading uh, torch bearer for the work that this organization has been doing and today sir would uh, Shankar sir would be presenting a model about enabling inclusion technology in order to leverage early childhood rehabilitation solutions. There is a technology driven solution to rehabilitate uh, to provide rehabilitation services to children from the birth itself until the age of 24. And 
the outcome that amar shiva sangam focuses on is about to increase or improve the enrollment in the schools so let us hear to shankar sir and the presentation thank you so much and provides an overview of rehab staff's targets and achievements The EI app has both a web and mobile app platform with offline data entry options and automatically syncs when users come online. The EI app uses an Android system and our data and network architecture uses the AWS cloud-based platform meeting international standards on data security. The EI app can be configured to fit to your project's operational flow and human resources availability. We invite you to partner with us. We will license the EI app and provide extensive training and ongoing technical and rehab support. We are a non-profit organization and licensing fees are based on cost recovery. This enabling inclusion app is a high fidelity, high quality, cost-effective model. We are establishing a separate social enterprise to scale this application to reach millions of children across the world. Two lessons. This is for square shifty and the real child user from young age. I know what it means to be a person with a disability and how much difference it makes to go to a school and get educated. I believe that disability is not a constraint; it is only a condition. And it is my dream that no child is denied a school experience because of. lack of rehabilitation or education thank you yeah so i have several models from screening to treatment to real time monitoring and the various awareness program uh, so it is like a process flow uh, from uh, all these aspects are being tracked Uh, in this uh, mobile application, um, the EI app allows you to screen children for developmental disabilities in schools, health centers, or their own homes with simple-to-use screening tools, including the Washington Group UNICEF Child Functioning Module and the Trivandrum Developmental Screening Chart. The EI app has easy to locate information for each child with the family at the center of all intervention planning. Your rehab workers can input and view all parent chosen intervention goals for the child using an internationally validated tool and all initial assessments including the general assessment which follows the WHO's ICF model covering body function and structures, activities, participation, environmental and personal factors down into all intervention domains such as special education physiotherapy vision speech and environmental all depending on the needs of that child so we have different evaluation tools in the application GDM platform we are using for physiotherapy. It will help us to monitor the physio's progress, and we are using a deep-in evaluation tool. And then we are using PVPM, which is currently in the feedback section. We are using for this goal collection, and also we are using FACC evaluation for special education monitoring. and we can see all the evaluation uh, progress in the graphical representation also hello uh, shankar sir yes sir uh, sir can you we uh, conclude in uh, next minute sir can i go further introduction sir, module sir i was uh, can i was requesting can we conclude in 1 minute sir so can you can you conclude in a minute sir when the parents themselves can log in and uh, uh, they can view the progression of the child the various uh, schedules for the kids 
as they do the therapy sessions in their homes with their kids, they also check in and check out. So we will be able to monitor the parents uh, while they are progressing. And uh, these are all the various models, again, uh, uh, being shown here. The benefits out of this is already explained. We have different um, versions um, growing by the needs of the organization from training to uh, basic transdisciplinary and multidisciplinary. Multidisciplinary is a very comprehensive uh, solution. And it can work under various uh, conditions from community, home-based, center-based, mobile clinic, schools, uh, even in uh, our stages and it's early intervention centers. And we will be providing training, technology, support, monitoring, and evaluation supports. We are already having several partners in use as well as uh, government. We are having tie-ups with the local government, uh, with the education department, disability department, as well as the uh, the district area intervention centers. So we will be proud to be associated with all of you, with the governments and NGOs, so that uh, our dream for rehabilitation of children with disabilities are realized. Thank you very much, sir. Is there any questions? Thank you so much, sir. It was a very uh, nicely, uh, graphically, a very nicely presentation and also how to use technology for early identification of has also published a paper uh, on in under this uh, aligning to this topic called the technology assisted early disability identification and monitoring in children a model for middle and low income countries so i think the department uh, also validates uh, the work that you have been doing sir uh, sir any comments from you sir please yeah. So, in the one, one more small, small thing, we are thank Rajesh Agarwalji uh, for this initiative and for the opportunities given to our Seva Sangha. Thanks to the department. Okay, good to see you, Mr. Shankar, again. And organize uh, and CRC is it, and even in DDRS, uh, and even in National Trust, we don't have any tracking mechanism. We are paying so much for beneficiary. In NIS, CRCs, there are OPD also happening. But then what happened to the child? What is the tracking after one year, two year, three year? So on that, we are trying to plan, plan at the moment. If you CRCs or NIS are maintaining some physical register or uh, Excel sheets, but we must move to a good software. The only thing, I should not be saying publicly, but the financials need to be worked out well. Because government usually goes by tendering method, or if it is nomination, it's almost uh, very cheap or free of cost type of thing. Otherwise, we have to go for a tendering method. We can discuss that separately, but uh, we don't need a solution like this. At the moment, we don't have so, that. Yeah, actually, we will be sharing everything without any charge to the government side. Uh, there is no expenses we will be charging the government. We are dedicating to the department side. Uh, thank you so much, sir. And I think this is one of an inspiring thing to also uh, know without... Uh, there is not only the not-for-profit organizations, there are also for-profit organizations and uh, with the law of CSR, a lot of organizations have been working. And in that lines, uh, the next organization who would be uh, presenting the work on uh, intellectual disabilities is uh, Tata Power uh, elect under their Alexi arm. So the, as uh, it has been multiple times iterated that the aim of this conference is to encourage collaborations, multilateral collaborations and one of the results of various such uh, conferences in the past has also resulted in a very inspiring collaboration during the Purple Fest in Delhi that was organized in Rashtrapati Bhavan, the President's House, where the National Institute for Empowerment of Persons with Intellectual Disability had an MOU signed with Tata Power in the presence of our Honorable Secretary, sir. And to present the work of Tata Power, uh, Ms. I, I request Ms. Forum Nagori, head Tata Power Renewable CSR, to speak. Uh, before that, I'll just take 10 seconds to introduce the work that is their pay attention. 
which is a kind of an india's first digital which is the physical plus the digital autism support network launched and developed by the tata power community development trust in partnership with the center for autism and other disabilities rehabilitation research and education that in short cadre this initiative aims to empower parents caregivers anganwadi workers and even teachers to provide early intervention to children and adults with autism to know more about this initiative i request uh, the delegates from tata power to present the ppt thank you your uh, webcam or the laptop screen so that your face is okay that is i think this is better ma'am yeah uh, please begin ma'am thank you thank you so much i am not able to see my tech no Ma'am, we can hear you clearly, and thank you so much. And thank you for the opportunity. It is uh, humbling to be in the midst of people who have served for many, many years, and we learn from you all. So every time we visit a nipit center, or every time we travel to many regions served by the government, we realize that this country cannot be served by anyone but the government. So. You know, whatever CSR, whatever innovation, whatever uh, digital capacities or support we can bring in, we would love to always do it and scale it with the government. So, uh, you know, what we actually created has been thanks to the co-creation and guidance, and this whole platform is beyond technology alone. So, while tools and tech can Some many things what we realize because Tata Power itself operates in so many remote geographies of more than hundred plus districts in the country that we operate in. We realize that there will have to be um, networks and at that digital networks which connect from place to another through some format, and that is where this solution was born. Where we said that we will be, you know, pulling together. resources that exist in some areas but don't exist in some areas and how we will club the two so the uh, understanding we derived was ki kitna bhi mehnat kar le therapist nahi milna kitna bhi logo ko train kar de to alag speech therapist alag occupational therapist alag special educator or alag se vocational training alag se school sab kuch chote region mein kabhi nahi milega so that was the um, genesis where we said that how do we solve for this in a way that we build capacities of parents themselves and one of my favorite uh, corollary that we draw is the anms of the country so the, the way medical sector needed ground force i think the way disability and especially neurodiversity has grown Uh, it requires a ground force it requires an extension force which is beyond the medical model a model which allows regular people to also contribute and to build more bridges the disability sector hamesha se ek alag chala hai um, it is like uh, you know not very easily integrated with others so how does amm play a role how does anganwadi worker play a role how does a normal uh, you know uh, a kind of a volunteer play a role how does people like us tata power small csr in all these regions play a role and that is where we said that we could have a platform which will allow for the people who don't have these services to access it virtually and there is a whole neurodiversity care platform which has been almost completed in terms of design with nipid last finishing touches and that platform will be up we will show a video of that platform very soon but before that i'll just talk through this challenge of saying ki bahut kam special educators hai aur uh, interestingly in business economics they say ki jo cheez ki demand supply mein shortage ho uska dam badh jata hai so ideally this should have been the highest paid profession but in a country like india 
it is not even the highest paid profession so uh, how do we uh, you know substitute it with um, auxiliary workforce is the uh, work that we attention is done we have done a lot of trainings over the last one and a half two years uh, for anganwadi workers for anms for self help groups in different regions and tried to demystify neurodiversity by saying that even if you don't have special care available what can you do and then what is the nearest government center or the nearest any other special center that one can reach so we have also worked uh, with secretary sir and the team's guidance on um, a network directory so trying to be like a one stop shop which will allow for the government private sector and ngo sector all to come together on one platform so that one stop shop thought process has made us go around one and a half year trying to collate aur abhi tak hamare paas full vocational training centers of the country ka list nahi to hum abhi bhi us pe work hi kar rahe hain to ye samajh mein aa raha hai ki collate trying to get everything under one space is a challenge in this country and to make it exhaustive in such a way that nobody is missed out and to not make it about ourselves alone and that is very important in the disability sector right now without which the sector will continue operating in silos so this is another uh, big area of work of creating champions of creating this kind of content which is which is going to link up many things that are happening many good things many experts a lot of them are there on the panel today uh, speaking so we also said that how do we put a lot of content in an open access format how do we get a helpline which will be easy to reach and um it is very difficult to bring people together in disability because everyone has a very purest thought process and also different schools of thoughts but i think this work of being able to bring together a lot of you know um, experts on one panel and then be able to use them for different purposes in fact there needs to be uh, a kind of a national working group in this space which we have been proposing that of a kind of a voluntary but um, uh, but um, empowered by the msg kind of a group which will continue working together and bring uh, different schools of thoughts together in one platform which is what happens in several other countries one of the biggest advantage we had was to study how these kind of platforms work in other countries and we borrowed a few good practices and thought processes from elsewhere especially uh, working with parents groups as a model Uh, this is where we have been able to work so far so you would see some regions in our neighborhoods where we have activated the way we are activating regions is again very interesting we realized that koi ek sansan nahi hai bahut sansthaye hain bahut acha kaam ho raha hai par silos mein ho raha hai to maharashtra for example when we started the maharashtra neurodiversity summit we said that we will bring together uh, several organizations working in this space from all over the state onto one space and then run a kind of a workshop so that they all also work again in tandem and can seek each other's support so we had more than 50 organizations from across the state coming together and looking at new age therapies looking at uh, government schemes access and several such enablers that would come in another learning we had through the several consultations we have done 29 different consultations um, with experts across to uh, understand what kind of gap filling is required at a systemic level and uh, one of the learnings was that um, you know we need uh, to uh, bring in those kind of therapies which uh, allow the parent to do it at home so dance and movement therapy kind of a thought play therapy kind of a thought how do we do feeding in such a way that it becomes possible for a group of parents or a group uh, and for them to get behavioral skills in a way that they can operate in normal environments 
सो दीज आर दी थेरेपीज वी फोकस्ड ऑन कि अगर चार थेरेपिस्ट नहीं भी मिले तो डांस एंड मूवमेंट थेरेपी विल अलाउ द पर्सन टू गेट बेनिफिट्स ऑफ प्रोबेबली ऑल लिटिल लिटिल बेनिफिट्स ऑफ ऑल सो द नेक्स्ट बेस्ट बेस्ट ऑप्शन सो सिमिलरली दीज हैव बीन द इंपैक्ट माइलस्टोन्स सो फार एंड यू बीन एबल टू वर्क विद अ लॉट ऑफ टाटा ग्रुप कंपनीज एंड आई थिंक द पावर ऑफ um all sectors coming together is immense so public private partnerships are definitely the key to build more bridges and the tcs digital impact square tata lxc as a company tata auto homes um uh, several other indian hotels and their entire network in fact air india's volunteers and others have also been coming and gaining advantage across purple fest so purple fest thanks to the work you all have done of bringing that one platform alive which brings forces together so both purple fest goa and purple fest delhi have been phenomenal in the way they stitched pieces together and we were grateful to bring many group companies and many communities to both these platforms so this has been the trajectory so far we have been working with nipid and i will showcase this platform on how it will allow for remote um, uh, assessments remote referencing for certification and involvement of grassroots level workers where professionals themselves can't reach in the remote parts so this is how the platform is being designed we will showcase this we will also play the video in a minute and request uh, the team at the other end to play it i think if you all have it easy be your we can so give me a second i'll request my colleague akasha to play this is the second screen already visible yeah, ma'am uh, we can see the way forward uh, slide we have nimaya robotics private limited who is led by dr ramya s murthy founder director of nimaya robotics private limited from chennai nimaya helps children with autism spectrum disorder and even other multiple disabilities like they that uh, children who develop psychomotor and cognitive skill impairments dr ramaya has developed sup supra yoga an internet of things based cloud monitor device that is iot based cloud monitor devices and training methodolo methodologies designed to augment existing occupational therapy programs for children with asd as we all know that autism is one of the most uh, widely diverse disabilities that is that is a spectrum so dr ramaya has been working in this field and is also currently an assistant professor at manipal institute of technology and an inspire fellow as well as an iis fellow 2018 a university gold medalist and who has done an m masters of technology in robotics and she has also been awarded by the niti ayog as the dv awards 2023 innovation of the year award by the association of lady entrepreneurs telangana so i request dr ramaya murthy uh, to present her innovation in the field of autism spectrum disorder thank you I hope you are able to see the screen. Yes, ma'am. It is visible. If you can do it a full screen, it would be better. Yes, one second. Just working on it. Thank you, ma'am. It is visible. You can begin. Perfect. Thank you so much. Just a second. Just having a couple of glitches here. Yes. Thank you so much uh, for having me. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Um, Hi, I hope everybody is well. And uh, so I'm Dr. Ramya from Nimaya Innovations. 
Uh, so to give a short intro about what we do, we develop robotic based, mechatronic based, IoT based devices for children with autism and other multiple uh, disability to help them uh, improve their psychomotor skills. I think giving a regular statistics does not make any sense to the crowd, which is very well aware of the situation. Right now, CDC has predicted one in 36 uh, to have had the diagnosis and been diagnosed uh, with autism. One of the biggest questions that I always get when I tell people that I work in this area is that the first thing they ask is how robotics works in this area. Why robotics for autism? So um, I started this research as early as 2012. So post my master's, uh, I happened to have the privilege of meeting a lot of people from the autism background, either a mother of a child or a principal of a special school. So I was doing my master's in robotics and I had developed a couple of devices and uh, just had a random thought of why not giving one of the devices to a school and see how uh, they would react to it. So what had happened then is that uh, we realized that the children were attracted towards robot and robot-like features. And once I joined my PhD, it so happened that uh, my guide then was also very interested in looking into the social sector and rehabilitation robotics. So once we started researching, we realized that a lot of studies has been done, though not many in India, but all over the world, that are proving that children with autism are attracted towards robot and robot-like features. So one of the biggest reasons why is because uh, a robot can repeat the same thing over and over again without any kind of a change in emotion, without any kind of a, a change in uh, the way of instruction. So this repetitive uh, uh, practice really helps the child adhere to it and is able to work with the robots much easier and are able to accelerate the rate of learning. So once I started with that, I realized there were quite a bit of robotic devices that's being used across the world. So few of them are what you see on the screen. Uh, all of these robots are either used for communication or for facial expression or for uh, any other behavioral kind of issue. So one of the biggest gap that I felt when I was doing the research is that the psychomotor skill was not concentrated on. Of course, uh, based on the DSM-4, uh, we know that psychomotor skill has also taken a part to, uh, as one of the impairments that's uh, been there for a child. So when I looked into this gap, I really wanted to see how I can use my area of expertise to help children learn psychomotor skills. So based on that, what we did was we did a little bit of research and realized uh, what kind of a psychomotor skills that can be concentrated upon. So taking that into consideration, I realized that one of the biggest things that when I met a lot of parents, the first thing that always came to their head was, unless I, until I am around, I will be able to take care of the child. But I just want him or her to be independent enough to eat, to use the restroom, to do their daily life activities. So once these have come into being, we realized that the thing that we need to concentrate on is helping the children get better in their day-to-day -day life activities. Hence, I, uh, uh, we decided to concentrate on all the grasp and the other requirement based on daily life skills. For example, we get up in the morning, we brush our teeth, we open the door, all of this is super involuntary to us, right? And But for children with autism, they find all of this to be a little difficult and most of them are dependent on caregivers. So taking that into a uh, consideration, we went around checking what are the different works or the different training that an occupational therapy does, a physiotherapist does and all of it. So taking all of that into consideration, we wanted to keep the same set of things as an occupational therapist, but enhance the device that they use. So we always wanted to keep the human part of the equation. So we, know, we realized the conventional therapy method that usually happens is the teacher teaches the child the activity. And now this activity do not usually have an audiovisual feedback. So this does not help the child to remember it for a long time and also have a much less retention power. And uh, it takes a lot of longer period of time for the child to learn. So we wanted, we went and did a small twist and we did, we said that it's in the Nimaya way. So by doing more than five years of research on it, 
we realized that an active learning is a unique component that can be added to the system where the teacher will teach the activity to the child but the activity itself will give an audio visual feedback or any kind of a positive reinforcement this helps the child to hold the attention and the child is able to understand what action it does to the reaction that it gets back so this helps the child to associate with the action and reaction and this automatically helps the child to still rate the rate of learning by more than 60 percentage so these are just examples for few of the graphs that is actually uh, being done by us uh, we have a series of eight products currently and it addresses more than 50 different psychomotor skills so i'm just going to give a quick review of how it started so this was initially my prototype during my PhD. And as you can see, this was a drone device. This helped the child to understand palmer grass, uh, uh, wrist rotation, elbow movement, eye hand coordination, bilateral coordination. All of this was made sure that this device were able to teach the child. So we worked with several schools across the country in Tirichi, in Chennai, in Mumbai, in Bangalore. And uh, we wanted to make sure that this system actually works and uh, based on that, we started developing a series of systems. So, yeah. Huh. Uh, so this is just an example. I will go ahead and run a quick video of this child. Please let me know if you're able to hear the audio. It has subtitles uh, because the audio is in Tamil. So when we worked with this child who was about seven years old, he had absolutely no idea of what a door was or how to open or close a door or a difference between right and left hand. So we did a pre-assessment to see what level of parameters the child knew and then we went ahead and trained him on our system. And then we did a post-assessment to check how the difference of uh, improvement is. So I uh, hope the audio is uh, heard in the screen. I'm not very sure. No, the audio is not there. Oh, the audio is not there. Okay, I can, uh, I'm so sorry, but uh, if there is time, I will replay it again by the end of the presentation. So basically, if you've seen the video, you could have seen that the child had no idea what a door was at the start of the training and was able to identify a door, open and close a door using both right and left hand by the end of the training. And this was in matter of about a week, week and a half. That was the difference we were able to bring in. So following that, we developed a series of different devices. And as part of my PhD, I developed about uh, five different devices. I've just listed them here because for want of time, I'm not showing any of the graphs or anything, but I, I have it under me. Uh, so we realized that the child was able to we did a proper control group and a target group scenario, and we found our devices accelerated the rate of learning by on an average of 60 percentage. So following which we decided that we would definitely have to start this as a startup and try to help as many children as possible. And that's how uh, Nimea Innovations came about. <laughs> so one thing that we were always very clear about is we always wanted the therapist and the parent to be part of the equation as far as a child training is concerned. So we made sure that it was beneficial for all the three of them in whatever device that we created. So we made, so as you can see, this is the architecture of Nivea Innovations devices currently. 
The one that you see on the right side is the skill training unit. Uh, this is where the child comes in contact with to learn the different set of skills. So depending on the different units, this keeps changing. And then here, it's the trainer interface unit. And then it is connected to the cloud application. So the reason why I told you it has to be beneficial for all the three of them is that we decided if the one of the biggest things that the therapist was always finding difficult was to manage data as to how to show an improvement to a parent when the parent comes asking how much my child has improved. So we really wanted to make sure that I, and we all know, and uh, I have uh, personally been to at least 75 different schools, uh, looking out to different methodologies that they use and what kind of issues that they go through to make sure that we uh, uh, analyze challenge and also, uh, you know, uh, make sure that we give them the best solution possible. In that we found out one of the biggest issues that the therapist had was that they were not able to keep track of the data. Hence, we made sure these devices are going to be IoT based devices. So every single data of the child, of the child's training, be it if the child is moving right or left or moving anything at all, the system will automatically record every single parameter and send it to the cloud. So this skill training unit and this trainer interface units have their own uh, set of sensors and electronics that picks up data automatically and sends it to the cloud. And not only does it send it to the cloud, it also automatically analyzes the data. We have an AI algorithm running in the back and gives each and every child its required progress graph. This can be seen by both the parents and the therapist. So this basically helps them both to keep track of the child's progress. And most importantly, this becomes a very scalable model for us as well because me being in any place will be able to track every child's data and make sure that the child is perfectly in track. So currently we have systems running in Bangalore, we have systems running in Chennai, uh, we have systems running in Jamshedpur. And I, sitting here, I am able to get every data that is possible because we have a data uh, base as well. So this skill training unit, depending on the skill that the child wants, will constantly keep changing. This trainer interface unit is nothing but a touch screen where all the therapist has to do is enter what kind of assistance the therapist has given. Right now, I'm only giving uh, the details in parts. Uh, as and when it is required, we'll be able to run a proper training uh, scenario and help every therapist understand. So we work on a train the trainer model. Uh, we have an MOU, we signed up an MOU with NITNET in 2020 and our systems have been running there uh, since then. And there are a list of four of them. The other few are going through patent process, so we've not displayed it here. So here, this joystick device that you can see on the left top is to help them understand up, down, right, left directions, eye hand coordination, palm or grasp, elbow movement. Of course, the door, the shoe and the shirt are quite self-explanatory. We wanted to help them understand uh, wrist rotation, pincer grasp, cylindrical grasp. So across all of these devices, we've addressed more than 50 different psychomotor skills. So how these systems work is that, say, for example, how this active learning scenario works. So here, when you look at the shoe system, then the moment, only when the child connects the shoe velcros or the shoe buttons correctly, this uh, thermocold balls in the canister starts moving, giving them a positive reinforcement. So what happens? The child is immediately hooked to it and the child is able to understand that this is how you're supposed to connect it to get the reinforcement. And the best part is across training, we have at least trained more than 1,500 children by now. And we've found that these systems help them in automatically generalizing in everyday life, where you don't have to train them on an actual device. For example, in the video, as you saw, we never trained them on an actual door. We only trained them in our therapy system and the child was able to automatically do it in the actual door. And the generalization is automatically happening due to the active learning process. So these are just few of the lists of uh, devices that we do. So <laughs> uh, these are a few of the features which I've already explained. Uh, completely paperless operation. This helps the therapist concentrate completely on giving the child one-on-one -on -one, uh, assistance and required help. And of course, uh, this entire training methodology was devised based on what is already existing. We took the essence of that, we did few years of research on it, and we've devised a supra yoga methodology which is custom made for these devices, 
which we will train the therapist actually. So once, how we work on is we work on a subscription model. So when a special school approaches us and they subscribe to a set of our devices, we give them our devices with for how many ever children the uh, school subscribes for. <laughs> and we train the therapist there. Once training the therapist, the therapist is all by themselves. They will train the children and we will be able to collect the data. <clears throat> this data will of course be shared with the institute as well as with the parents. So one more additional thing that we did is that we have an app called Gita, uh, Growth and Intelligence Tracking Application. This is right now available in Play Store for everybody to download and absolute free of cost. What we do is that we developed this app to make sure that we were able to track uh, the child from the day of birth until five years. So right now until three years, we've already launched it and for the next two years, it's going to get launched very soon. And the best part of this app is that they can track them in social interaction, psychomotor skills, communication, understanding, awareness, all of these parameters are tracked by this app. And the best part of this app is all the parent has to do is do one activity for one minute per week. And this has been launched with the Pondicherry government, with the social welfare minister uh, in uh, 2021. And it's been used in the Pondicherry government. We are in talks with uh, two other governments to start in their Anganwadis. Right now, it's an absolutely free app for every uh, parent who has a child between the age of, uh, um, from the birth to five years to download and use it. So this is just a representation. This is just, you can go to uh, Play Store and download it as Gita Milestones. I will add it in the chat room. And uh, it, it's a very intuitive app. And the best part is we have it in four regional languages right now. We have it in Tamil. We have it in Hindi. We have it in uh, Telugu. We are working it in Canada right now uh, because we are in talks with uh, um, here in Manipal uh, area with KMC and everybody to launch it with them. And uh, it, of course, it is in English as well. So, and another important thing is one of the reasons that we launched this app as a free app is simply because we wanted it to reach as many uh, remote areas as possible. Because though there may not be a lot of facilities, smartphone has become quite a bit of a use everywhere. And that is why, as you can see right from the picture that you see on the screen as welcome Satya. So we have made sure that every single picture is hand drawn by an artist. Even if people are not able to read and write, they will still be able to look at the picture and continue to do that activity. So we've made sure that that level of work has gone into it. We have followed every protocol. We worked with pediatricians, occupational therapists, everybody on the board with us uh, from Calcutta, from Chennai, from uh, uh, Andhra and everybody. And we've made sure that we followed every single protocol and we've launched this app in uh, several different places right now. So to sum up our work here, for a child, of course, the biggest thing is every single, uh, the biggest in, important thing about Nivea Innovation uh, is that we know that one system is not a fit for all, especially when it comes to autism spectrum disorder. We've taken into account about the sensory integration of children. We've uh, uh, taken into account about the touch, feel, the color. All of these devices are ergonomically designed. They are uh, uh, disability friendly and a very special amount of designing has gone into the color scheme, taking into account the depth, depth perception of a child, peripheral vision of a child, every single thing has gone into it, but also making sure it is toy-like so that the child will be able to work and play with it. Every child's uh, program is tailor-made. It is not completely just one uh, size fits for all. Uh, so depending on the child's pre-assessment that we take and the diagnosis that we get, we tailor make every single program for the child. Uh, accelerated rate of learning, of course. Uh, when we went around asking a lot of therapists about how long it takes for a set of skills to uh, for a child to learn, we figured out that it takes about a year or so, but we were able to teach the same thing within a couple of months. And this was the difference that we were able to bring in. And uh, so, and of course, the generalization part of it has come in as well. And for the therapist, 
uh, one of the biggest thing is this is super easy to use and the, it's completely paperless operation so the therapists do not have to worry about handling the data all by themselves and the data and every part of it will be given to them with graphs and uh, improvement of the child across their completely IoT based devices that's what I mean and another important thing is this way the therapist can treat a lot of different children within the same period of time and of course to the parent it's the absolute happiness of seeing their children grow and get better. And the whole point of Nimaya, Nimaya actually means to create a change in Sanskrit. And that's exactly what we are trying to do by making millions of children as independent as possible and do their everyday life activities and, you know, uh, be less dependent uh, and be more inclusive. And that's what Nimaya is all about. I'm open to any questions that people have. Thank you so much, ma'am, uh, for a very uh, nice presentation as well as uh, opening a new domain. So, what is special about this, and what is role of robotics in this uh, entire thing? Uh, this is how every child learns seeing the things, doing the things himself or herself. Yes, sir. I completely understand. So, the difference is that uh, as I was, let me go back to the device. The active learning part of it helps the child accelerate the rate of learning. We understand it's the same set of items that you use in an occupational therapy to train a child. But we've robotized it and we've made it in a uh, mechatronic manner in such a way that due to the active learning part of it, the child is able to learn it much faster. So the thing is that it's not just about the child doing it alone and then figuring it out. It goes in the exact way of how a therapist is training a child. But we have proven by absolute research over 10 years of time that what is going to take about a year, we are able to teach them in two months. Because when an active learning situation is introduced to a child, the child is able to learn something super fast, making them a little more independent every day and much sooner. See, the whole point of this being robotics and the research based on robotics is because the children are just like how they are addicted to screens and everything, right? But they hamper the growth of the child when it's a 2D, uh, this thing, and they get addicted to a thing. But when we are able to train them in a 3D format, the child not only understands, see, the important part how we teach is we don't teach the activity completely. We break it down into smaller parameters, right from the movement of the elbow to the uh, movement of the shoulder and all of it. Teach them as single, single uh, parameter, which accumulates to become an activity. So this accelerates the rate of learning. So when a child needs to go through a therapy for a psychomotor skill for so long, we are shortening it to easily a 40 percentage of what they need to do. Thank you. Thank you uh, so much, ma'am, sir. Yes. Yeah, congrats, a very interesting presentation. And uh, what we Thank just you, asked basically uh, I'm so sorry, but I could hear only half of the statement. Can somebody relay it for me? So basically, I was saying that uh, this robotic thing or uh, mechatronic thing basically results in cognition plus muscle memory building by doing that thing again and again. And the child is able to translate it to one or more activities in real life. So a very yes. interesting uh, proposition. And uh, another thing which came to my mind when I was listening to Tata Power presentation and the uh, your presentation also. Now actually my children are quite grown up, but when they were uh, small, one year old, two year old or few months old, we were very religiously keeping those paper charts. Ki vaccination ho gaya, injection lag gaya, hydro, hydro weight kya hai per month. But uh, we as young parents never had that small booklet ki milestone developments kya hai. Do din saal tak. Aur wo aajkal bhi I doubt ki wo rakhe jate hai. So we need to work with a few pediatricians and others in the country. Young parents do in Satak milestones we track the right. Because this is how yes. autism butter and autism butter in hand. Or uh, almost a consensus for one to two percent children will have these. So it's important that uh, we keep track of these things also. And third observation yes. is that uh, I am happy that uh, both Nipir and Nipmet have been working with a uh, few NGOs, few startups uh, to launch these things. 
और वो सामान हमारे खुद के सिस्टम में प्रोपिगेट नहीं हो रहा था जैसे लिपमेंट में तो चार साल पहले 2020 में आपके साथ थोड़ा किया कोलैबोरेशन बट विद इन अवर सिस्टम कभी भी हमारी भी जब एन आई सी आर सी की कॉन्फ्रेंस हुई पिछले चार साल में system. So I'm happy that we are having this purple talk series, and uh, also I hope that it will nudge all other NIs and CRCs to also shake hands with local entrepreneurs, local innovators. And uh, I was also wondering that yesterday we had uh, three locomotive national institutes, NILD and Nirtar and uh, IPH. Uh, they do have some internal research work, but we could not really see. that in last few years they have shaken hands like this on their own so recently we have launched digital rtc to shake hands with people working in the sign language sector uh, and they have reached out to a number of corporates and uh, ngos and individuals working in that field but i would love to see you know, when we talk about hearing issues avij and uh, other crcs and is working on hearing field एक्चुअली टेलिंग अस कि उन्होंने पिछले कई सालों में कितना कोलैबोरेशन किया है प्राइवेट सेक्टर के साथ और इनोवेटर्स के साथ एंड सेम थिंग विद आई बिलीव कि ब्लाइंड के और एलबी के केस में लिपिड एंड इट्स सिस्टर ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस आई नो कि खास नहीं किया बट दे शुड आल्सो हैव डन अ लॉट विद एंड नाउ आई नो एट लीस्ट अ डजन पीपल और एक्चुअली मोर देन अ डजन पीपल इन द विजुअल सेक्टर Who are doing phenomenal work, but somehow our allies did not have a connect with that. And I hope that, and I'm very happy that Nipir and Nipir both have done a few times, and uh, both of them. So very happy about that. But I would love all other allies and CRCs to also really reach out to all the local entrepreneurs and uh, best people, best innovators in the country working in their specialization. and this is very interesting we will see how to work with people on this yes sir absolutely and uh, in addition a couple of things actually in mit i recently joined mit i uh, wanted to further my research in the same area so we are planning to set up a rehabilitation uh, lab here and uh, there are uh, uh, me and another colleague is also working on uh, sign language sector which is also her phd so if there is any problem statement somebody wants to reach reach out to me about we are completely open to that because we will be able to give you since we are in a very very high end research institution we will be able to give you a proper research based outcome so that is something that we are very open to and uh, uh, we are soon in from the mayor innovations we are uh, soon launching a uh, app for dyslexia uh, to help children learn um, alphabets and letters and uh, i mean alphabets and numbers and very very basic math functions in a much much faster manner so that is also something that is in the works Then do then uh, we will let you know. Uh, we have a similarly a day long workshop on uh, SHI issues and on uh, visual issues. Probably it will be around fifteen, sixteen, seventeen times. So my team will tell you the dates. So do then that on that. Uh, I also do have uh, five, six uh, big ticket ideas in the uh, hearing sector. Okay. Okay, sir. When when is this happening? Around fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. My team will reach out. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Ma'am, can you please uh, stop sharing the screen as of now? Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Yes, uh, diverse, wide-ranging, and in a various spectrums of intellectual disabilities. We began with Nipet Chinnai's uh, cross-linguistic teaching method, where the director himself went to the technical aspects of how a child learns and. then how the, there has been a book that has been developed which is available publicly then we went into the digital realms of learning through the blink research and services to the d learners after the tea break we also got to know about how a chatbot is being used 
can or can be used by different persons with intellectual disabilities, their parents, their caregivers uh, through the infill. And then one of the pioneering educational organization that is the NCERT and their precious app, their technicalities, their workings and how it is empowering not just children but teachers which are the major uh, engage, engaging stakeholders at, for every <coughs> child that is, that is born in this world. So how NCRT is also doing effective work. Then a very acclaimed work that is done by one of our inspiring National Institute of Empowerment of Persons with Intellectual Disabilities of developing an IQ test that is an Indian IQ test and uh, this anchoring ourselves from the Western modalities of uh, intelligence or academics or otherwise is one of the pioneering work that was showcased and then we also saw the how the TLM kits and its distribution through the Elimco and the Adip scheme is revolutionizing the teaching learning mechanisms and uh, moving out of that mindset of just uh, toys that are needed for children but uh, learning that is needed for children and then obviously the academicians are also entering into the program development of Jello Basic from we had a professor from IIT Bombay himself uh, understanding how to communication where the students with intellectual disabilities who have communication problems they can do. Then we saw the Naidisha work where they develop have they have developed the resource directory of various aspects of uh, intellectual disabilities from caregivers to uh, parents, associations, and obviously a helpline. Then one of the most interesting was the neurosciences perspective from the Changing Foundation and the Nerd Tool Foundation and their work of how they are utilizing the research, very deep science research of uh, neurosciences and uh, helping students to uh, learn the foundational or identify the students who are facing that uh, learning disabilities and thus empowering them through the rehabilitation services. Then again, we saw the various technological interventions from Amar Seva Sangam and their uh, encouraging uh, step to provide free services to the government in the form of Enable Inclusion app. Then uh, we saw how Tata Power is creating a network of individuals catering to specific autism. And in that area, we again saw an innovation of uh, Nimaya innovations where they are utilizing the robotics. Uh, academician, a PhD holder is working into robotics and developing devices. So we saw a range of uh, various initiatives and uh, I was just uh, talking with someone the other day that it is this is a kind of a government shark tank without funding. And uh, uh, so I would just request now uh, our secretary sir to just uh, give a five minute or two minute of closing remarks. So then, then we can uh, go ahead with the vote of thanks. Uh, we have been able to stick to time, though we need to do away with the live question uh, asking sessions. Uh, at least I found the whole session very interesting and uh, very interesting innovations happening in the country. Rajpan Kalle ke bhi apne ESO se separate the board log apne aur apne dusra organization ke bhi. So abse ham filing pe jo likhe. So I hope that qualitative is a very eye opening that the Deshma is not a good thing. And the services are not a good thing. We are pro bono government. And it's absolutely like a shark tank for uh, these guys, but uh, without funding, but with full moral support from the world. We have made in India, we have scientific research, we have products. अपने मंत्रालय के हालात में एकदम खड़ा होना चाहिए कि आप हमारे पास आइए सेक्रेटरी के पास जाने की जरूरत नहीं वो ऐसे सवाल किया है कि वो बोल के आपने उससे बात करना चाहिए उसको बढ़ावा देना चाहिए हमें आत्मनिर्भर बनना है और इसके बिना एक ग्लोबल प्लेयर बनना है हमारी ग्लोबल वी आर साइंटिफिकली वेरी गुड वी आर प्रूवन वी आर वेरी साइंटिफिक माइंडेड पीपल तो जैसे सॉफ्टवेयर में जब मैं आईटीज में था तो उसके बाद 90s में देवांग मेहता जब बात करते थे कि एक बिलियन डॉलर का एक्सपोर्ट होगा लोग हंस गए थे देवांग में फिर बाइटू की आया और इंडियन एक्सपोर्ट 100 बिलियन डॉलर से ऊपर हो गया सॉफ्टवेयर के आस पास अच्छा है देश में प्रॉपर्टी ना हो आईओपी कम हो गेमिफिकेशन 
और उनका एटीट्यूड चेंज हो रहा है बिना रिजर्वेशन के बिना कचे के वो कुछ साल में आ रहा है पर हमें एजुकेशन में सबको बढ़ावा देना है 10th पास 12th पास बच्चे बहुत कम हो रहे हैं खासकर जो नॉन लोको मोटर वाले हैं बाकी पूरे तो सो दैट इज वन एरिया ऑफ बीइंग कंसर्न उसमें भी हमें बहुत सारे स्टार्टअप्स आएंगे ऑनलाइन पढ़ाने वाले बहुत हैं एक मैं भी ढूंढ रहा हूं कि कोई मिले नहीं है खास तो इन नेक्स्ट सीरीज ऑफ पर्पल टॉक्स वी विल टॉक अबाउट होम स्कूलिंग ऑल्सो वैसे हम चाहते हैं कि सारे बच्चे इंक्लूसिव स्कूल्स में जाएं और जो नहीं जा पाते किसी कारण से हम होम स्कूलिंग में कैसे आए और उसमें एक टैक का बहुत बड़ा रोल होने वाला है और पेंटर्स का और वॉलंटियर टीचर्स का बहुत बड़ा रोल है तो दैट इज वन एरिया वी विल नीड टू वर्क ऑन और इसमें कोई भी एनआईसीआरसी या कोई भी एनजीओ वगैरह आना चाहे तो वी आर मोर देन गेट फॉर इट सो आई विल स्टॉप हियर एंड विल मीट अगेन नेक्स्ट टू नेक्स्ट वीक और ऐसे हम चार बार मिलेंगे दो दो दिन के लिए तो एट लैक एट डे सीरीज होगा ये और उसमें नए नए आइडियाज लेके आए एंड आई होप कि शार्क टैंक ट्राई के लिए दो दिनों में हमारा अठारह से बीस लोगों से टच हो गया होगा सो इन एट एट सीरीज लेट अस टच एट लीस्ट सेवेंटी फाइव एन जी ओज एंड इनोवेटर्स एंड एट लीस्ट उनसे आदव के साथ अपन और आगे बढ़े कईयों के ड्रॉप आउट हो जाएंगे जब आगे बढ़ेंगे बट सो ओवर हिट रेशो हैज बी एट लीस्ट फिफ्टी परसेंट कि हम स्केल अप कर सकें इनके सोल्यूशन थैंक यू सो मच Thank you, sir. Good evening, all. On behalf of uh, DPWD Department, I extend my thanks to all the eminent speakers from uh, ID sector who presented various uh, innovative ideas, values, uh, uh, various uh, learning kits, apps, etc. I hope these uh, in, uh, inputs will have a provide a valuable inputs in uh, for all of us while taking uh, policy decisions in the department. I extend my special thanks to Secretary Sir, Sir for uh, conceptualizing and uh, implementing this purple stack, and I hope the future purple stacks will be successful as uh, as of last two days. I extend my thanks to all the senior officers, officials from uh, various uh, national institutes and sisters organization of our DPWD who have done through virtually who have joined this uh, purple talks and made this talks a great success. I thank entire team of the. Behind this entire uh, program, who has organized it very well, and entire logistic team who are uh, working for the last two three days and organized it well. Thank you, Anand.